Yo. I am so late to starting the stream. <laughs> My bad. Uh, I'm thinking about changing the stream time. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but going live earlier. So, we'll see about that. When I don't go live earlier, I get caught up doing other stuff and then I end up late. So, I might start earlier. We'll see. Um, speaking of stream, if you happen upon this on YouTube, uh, I subscribe to the VODs channel if you like the VODs. There are like a thousand stream videos on this channel that you can watch. Um, so if you're looking for stuff to put on in the background or fall asleep to or whatever, there's tons of content on this channel. Um, but yeah, and we are pretty close to monetization, but we just, we have to hit 500 subscribers. We're currently at 73. So we got to hit 500 subscribers, but we have like 1500 watch hours out of the 3000 we need, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, welcome in. Oh, I thought I already sent my going live notification. I guess I didn't. What up, doggy? Just got an ad playing right now as the stream starts up. And then we'll get into stuff here in a little bit. A couple of minutes. Yo, what up, Otto? They were 35 months. Holy shit. Dude, yes! How you doing, dude? Good playing some OSRS. How are you? I am. I'm pretty good. Pretty good. I've been waking up with a bunch of neck pain, which has been really annoying. And then it like subsides by like the evening. But then like I go to bed and I wake up with the worst neck pain in the world. And then I stay like asleep because I don't want to like get up because my neck hurts so bad, which is really annoying. And then I have to keep taking ibuprofen. And I like don't want to have to keep taking ibuprofen every day is like not good to consistently take it every day but otherwise i'm i'm all right i can't complain um so yeah what are you doing in uh os Questing right now, just going through and unlocking some earlier quests I've been putting off. I gotcha. What up, Mari? Yeah. Mari, how are you? Hello.
Not great, but it's okay. I feel you. Mario, was your birthday yesterday? As in, like, because it's after midnight for you right now? Or was it the day before? Twenty six. Okay, okay. For some reason, I thought that I... Well, I guess technically I did miss it because I said it's 6 p.m. my time, which would have been midnight for you. But I saw it, like, this morning and then fell back asleep, I think. And so I think I thought that it was the 25th for some reason. Did you do anything for it at all? Done in day, fair enough. I've decided that I'm going to stop paying attention to my birthday. Or to my age, particularly. Because I am going to be 27 soon. And like overly focused on it for a while for some reason. Do stuff and get me present for birthday and graduation combined. The last nothing happened. Kids ate my cake. Cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Birthdays aren't real. Dude, when I turned 23, I was like, oh, okay, I'm not like, I was like, I am officially like, you know, getting older. Like, I was like, I'm no longer like, like if I were to become successful now, I would no longer be like the the child prodigy thing. Which like as a kid I always wanted to be like one of those people that got successful young and then was like, "Yeah, I'm pretty cool cuz can you believe I got successful when I was uh young? That's pretty crazy." And then when I turned 23, I was like, "Well, that's done. That's not going to happen anymore." And now I'm 26 and I'm like, Pfft. Maybe I'll be one of those, I'm, now I'm like, well, hopefully I'm one of those people that's like, become successful later in life and can be like, see, age doesn't matter when it comes to being successful. What up, Marty? Sarah? Success story is so valid, but also... Oh! Long time. Yeah. Appreciate it, Marty. Mm-hmm. Nice, what up? Um, sending something real quick. Sorry, I was sending some messages. Anybody have a interesting weekend? 
I didn't end up streaming like I said I wanted to. I ended up door dashing. Make a little bit of money. Managed to get some decent time slots for the weekends. Speaking of which, I need to check the app again to see if there's any decent time slots for this coming week. out in London soon. That's nice. <laughs> Dasher ate a cookie, bro. Do they not do the thing where seal is broke on the box? I was going to say, do they not do the thing where they put the seal on the box? That's crazy. Poor line exhibition. I think you can report that. Coraline exhibition. That sounds cool. Trying to happen. Yeah. Speaking of dashing, I had a funny... Um, speaking of dashing, I had an interesting experience yesterday. I had like a dilemma... Um, the orders were not paying well yesterday, and I, uh, one person ordered, and I went to pick it up, and they were like, hey, another dasher just tried to pick this up, but the problem was they couldn't get a hold of the person. Our shake machine is down right now, um... So we like we can't fulfill the order right now, like the we we can't make the shake for it. Uh, and then I get a call. I, I like try to text them, doesn't work. And then I I get a call from DoorDash, and it's them. It's DoorDash connecting them to me. So I answer, and they're like, "Did you try to call me?" I was like, "No, your last dasher tried to call you, um, but there's a problem with the order." Long story short, their shake machine is down, so they can't fulfill the order would you uh, they want to know if you want like a substitution or something um no it's it was like it's a, like a local restaurant place but yeah different different thing but um they they were like they're like so what's the problem i was like the shake machine is down you have a shake on your order <laughs> uh like and they're like oh just get a soda i don't care it's for my kid and I was like, okay, thanks. And then I walk in and I'm like, I don't even know what soda they said they want. Because she just said a soda and I, and I was like so put off I didn't even think about it. Um, and so I, I go, she just said a soda. She goes, what soda? And I go, I don't know. She just said a soda. It's for her kid. And she goes, uh, I'm just going to give you Dr. Pepper. I was like, that works for me. Um, so... She comes, she gets me the Dr. Pepper and I leave. And as soon as I walk out the door, DoorDash contacts me and it's like, hey, there's another, um, there's another order at this place. You can pick it up and then you can deliver it on your, on your route. Right. So you can deliver a second thing from the same place. That happens sometimes with DoorDash when you're dashing. It'll be like, hey, since you're already at the store, we have another order that just came through. Why don't you pick up both orders and then deliver the two different orders? So... I'm like, okay. So I accept that one. And by the way, one of the or the the order for the person who has like the the shake is wrong or whatever. The total amount I'm going to make from this order is $3.20. And then the total I'm going to make from the other one is like $2 or or something like that as well or like $4, some, something in that range. Um, which basically means that they basically didn't tip me at all is, is essentially what what that means. Um but like Honestly, I'm I'm desperate right now, so like I'm just like you know if I get orders, I'm not gonna deny them. I'm just gonna take them, uh, especially because the way Dasher has this whole like scheme thing, where like if you do a hundred dashes in a month, you get a special extra earnings perk, 
Um, well, it's not like an earnings perk per se. Let me find it how exactly they 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 put it. Um, how are you gonna do that, monkey? How are you gonna do that? How are you gonna do? I'm I'm, I'm on the screen. How are you gonna do that? Tip you, push it right over. Tip cash the dasher does not need to collect taxes on it. Fair enough. What a Vic. Uh, so the way it works is you can get a platinum thing, and the way that it it gives you thirty percent off of DoorDash if you order with DoorDash, which is like an extra thing. Um, and you can get extra discounts at places like Taco Bell and McDonald's and stuff like that. Okay, whatever. But the the real perk of having like platinum status or whatever is um platinum gets priority access to just dash whenever you want to you're looking your screen dude i hope you washed it first or like scrubbed it or whatever unless you're like in the dust or dirt or whatever that's chill i guess but what a blonnie um and you also get top priority for higher paying orders. You get priority access to large orders, which also mean that you make more money with that. Um, and, so, and so having platinum basically means instead of me having to do all this scheduling shit, um, like I do right now, I could just go whenever I want to. So basically I have to fulfill 100 orders in 30 days to unlock that special perk. Which is annoying, but whatever. So I'm just kind of accepting whatever. So anyway, all that is to say that I'm I'm accepting the low pay orders because I just want to get my my dashes in, but it's bringing my like hourly rate down, which is annoying. But whatever, no big deal. Um, well anyway, this order, I arrive at the place with the first order, the one with the shake that's wrong, and. Um, trying to turn the music down a little bit. I arrive at the place and I'm at a bar. And I'm like, she said this was for her kid. And I'm at a bar right now. This is where I'm supposed to be. So I walk in and I'm like, hi, I have a DoorDash order. She goes, for who? And I, I say the name of the person. She goes, oh, right here. And the lady's like looking at me like, Fuck. and I'm like, hi. She's like, oh, this was supposed to, like, did you go to the wrong place? And She's like, I guess it just did my current address. It was supposed to go to my house. She's like, how much for you to deliver it to my house? I was like, is it here in town? And she's like, uh, kinda. And I'm like, how about five bucks? <laughs> Which was more than I was going to make from her entire order already. I was only going to make like three bucks. So I just said, how about five bucks? I'll go deliver it off the thing. Like, whatever. Um, and she's like, She's like, okay, and then she like, she like kind of mutters that she had already tipped on the thing. I'm like, yeah, well, <laughs> I don't really care. Give me five bucks, um, and I'll I'll deliver this to the right place. Um, and she's like, okay, fine. So she gives me five bucks, and I'm like, all right, yeah, I'll make sure this is delivered for you properly. And I put it in my car and I go and I deliver the other one that I'm still on the thing for. And then I take a break from the, on the dashing app. I take like a 30 minute break and I go deliver her thing. Uh, and uh, she calls me at some point. She's like, what's, is this taking a long time? I'm like, yeah, well, you know. Also, she said, I, I asked if it was in town. She said, yes. The place that she wanted me to deliver it to was like 13 minutes out of my way. So I was like, I'm glad that I got five bucks for it. Because I was like, this, yeah. Not allowed. Uh, I don't see anything in the rules, but I'm not going to sit there and read all the terms of service. I don't really care, quite frankly. Um, might as well just be considered a friendly deal that I made with a person off the clock or off the thing. But if they have a rule against that, that's pretty fucking stupid. So... Whatever. How do you take a, the photo of the stuffs? Well, when I delivered it to her in person, I said, yeah, I delivered it. 
to her. I handed it directly to her, which I did. I handed it directly to her. And then after I got done delivering it, she gave it back to me and gave me $5 to go deliver it somewhere else. You don't have to take a photo of the thing if you hand it directly to someone. Zach Dash, but it's just the people run gif, yeah. Uh, all things considered, though, it was funny, though. She she had a ring doorbell. So when I arrived, she got notified that, like, there was motion in front of the door. Um, and she, like, comes on the, the ring thing, and so she's like, you're the best! <laughs> I was like, leave me a five-star rating if you think so. <laughs> uh, and then I left. Um, but... Yeah, stuff like that happens all the time. And I feel I felt so bad for her because she delivered it to the wrong place. But also I also kind of didn't feel bad for her because she tipped like nothing. Seemed like she didn't care. She was at a bar and seemed like she didn't care that her kid was at a home alone and that like she was just having food delivered to him and didn't care that like the order was wrong or whatever. Uh, she just wanted it to be like over and done with because she didn't want to deal with like feeding her kid basically is what it seemed like so I also don't feel that bad um, at least her kid got fed though I guess so there's that I hate my child I'm giving him a soda someone spit in <laughs> the person at the at the restaurant was very nice though Not taxi on the side, basically. Only you and the client is allowed in the car. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. I know a lot of people that are signed up for both Uber and Lyft at the same time. Like, well, I don't know them personally, but, like, I see people with both the Uber and the Lyft sign, like, on their car. Mm. Wigfoot. Hello. Mm -mm. Probably not allowed to have non dashers in the car, but by golly, there are. Yeah. There's probably a lot of rules that I don't know about because they don't make you, like, actually read through any training manual or anything. You can just literally just go. I mean, I would say I could feign ignorance. But I literally would, it, it would literally be ignorance on my part if they tried to like get mad at me for doing an off the, off the app delivery thing. Cause to be fair, I put priority on the dash that I actually still had with the app. I didn't like prioritize the off the app dash. Um, and I paused my incoming dashes on the app and everything, so, I don't know. Could they ask with those rules? Yeah, I mean, all terms of service are. No one reads terms of service of anything, and they all use legalese language that the average American can't fucking read anyway, so. No more king. Have a good night, Mari. Make sure to get sustenance in your body. Not the cake, though. Did you tell them that that was fricked up? Wish I could can cannibalize a cowboy. What? What? 
What? What? And because they'd be shocked I'm sad. I mean, I'd be like, yo, that's not chill that you ate all of my cake. I literally didn't get to have a piece of my own birthday cake. That's not chill. I think that's fair to be like, yo. <laughs> like, it is what it is, but also like, hey, guys, maybe next next year, please don't eat all of my cake or just in general. Don't if something is for me and we are sharing it, maybe just leave some or set something aside for me. That, that would be good. Cloud a candle is fine. Move to get a cowboy. I want one. I want a cowboy. Mm. You got to get the right cowboy. Most cowboys are uh, weird. In terms of their uh, views on people and stuff. What up, butter baby? How you doing? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. most are racist and misogynist yeah that's what I was saying without saying it yeah yeah cowboys are interested a lot of cowboy people are, are very interesting because they're like they're misogynist in a way but also they're like they're also the type of people that are like no you have to respect a woman never lay a hand on a woman that kind of thing which is like Okay. They're like, respect women, but also women are trad wives only. <laughs> I don't know. From a good tree. They see they are cow people. They have a chance. Yeah. Moved in last week. Nice. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Them on a pedestal? Yeah. Friends through making my own little sleep token server. Meeting some of them in November for the London shows. Didn't don't have tickets to. One said she'll pluck a cowboy and take them to London for me. Nice. I read a cowboy romance and watched Twisters. <laughs> what up, Spartan? Shelly moved into college recently. All these new college people, huh? How am I? I am okay. Would you believe me and Spartan? Same room right now. What? I'm new to college too. Yo, start classes again tomorrow. What are you doing, Wig? What are you doing? What are you doing? We're gonna be in the same room too. He doesn't know it. Yo. And by what are you doing? I mean, what is your mm, 
major? What are you doing? Computer systems? Heck yeah. Are you going in with prior, like, credits and stuff? Or are you fresh? What up, Alpha? I got you. Leave me alone, yeah. Bunch of the general ed wrecks for it done already. Nice. I wish I had done that. I wish that when I had gone to drop out of college, I had gone to community college for two years and done all my gen eds just so I could like go back to school at some point for anything in the future if I wanted to. Graduations on 9-11. Nothing else ever happened that day. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> if it did, I must have forgotten. Oh. Oh. Wait. <laughs> so odd that I'm going to college with someone else in this chat. <laughs> Being gaslit. Uh, I have a phone interview for a place. That's crazy. Ah! Thank you for the five bits. You broke my lights. I appreciate it. I guess I gotta fix that. Um, yeah, apparently I have to schedule a phone interview. I don't know if I'm gonna get this job. I applied to be a general manager at a Domino's, and I don't know that I'm gonna get the job, because I don't know that I'm actually qualified. But I mean, the fact that they want to interview me, I guess, is a good sign. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna clum. Quack. Do not. Do not come. Ranchovy Gate. Yeah, that'll be my... I'll be like, guys, I really like Domino's. I'm very well acquainted with you. When should I take the interview, though? No! One v one in COD, yo. Get out of my dorm. W eleven. I'm gonna say no because I don't know what that means. Oh, Windows eleven. Is that what you mean? Yes, I have Windows eleven on my main PC. I have Windows 10 on my stream PC and 11 on my gaming PC. Honestly, I was putting off upgrading to Windows 11 for a long time. I was like, I'm probably not going to do it. And then I saw, I, I looked up a bunch of stuff and the reviews were very mixed. And I was like, I guess I ought to see for myself because I don't want to just shit talk it if I don't have any firsthand experience. And I saw that I could upgrade, so I upgraded to it. And honestly, it's just the same as Windows 10 but with like some more bloatware and more sub menus and by more sub menus i mean they just put more menus on top of the other menus that already existed so it's like more annoying to get to the things that i wanted to get to before ear trumpet good for windows 10 pretty sure uh We can see. I can look at the Microsoft website thing. See, oh, it looks like it works on Windows 11. The app sliders, yeah, that looks, that looks good. Spawn with the hill. W11 does it does all. Um. No. Uh. 
doesn't do it like this, at least. This looks a lot better. What up, Din? I'm gonna I'm gonna look at it. This looks cool. I think I've heard of this before, actually, to be honest, but I see you stream again. I'm sick though, but I was sick the day I first found you. So that's my day thus far, just playing. What? I hope you feel better soon. Dark, what up? I gotta figure out when I want to um I gotta figure out when I wanna do my phone interview for this thing. Nice. Yeah, your trumpet looks good. I like it. I got it. It's working. Nifty. You learn from your mistakes. You'll learn a lot today. Oh my gosh, it's the Ashed song. $300 the casino, bro. Video games and watching anime. Ah, okay. Playing video games and watching anime. I gotcha. What anime are you watching, out of curiosity? Interview at 2 a.m. Show them you can function well late. Well, they don't have an interview option for that time, but... 2.2 last night, though. A? Huge. You guys want to see an apple I drew in MS Paint for some reason? I'm trying to work on my visual imagination. Those of you that watch the stream a lot know that I have a terrible visual imagination... I got one no one yet, so I wasn't actually gonna put this up to a vote, but let me let me see some let me see some votes in the chat. Uh know if the stream deck shipped yet. I can check. But those of you that watch the stream a lot know that my visual imagination is bogus. So to try and practice, I'm like I tried to imagine an apple in my brain and try to draw it. But I started by trying to just draw what I saw in my head, but then I got really into it. I got overly focused on it. I think my new medication might be kind of starting to work a little bit because I got overly focused on making it actually look good, which was not the original intention of the exercise. So anyway, this is an apple that I drew in MS Paint. I don't... This is no reference, by the way. I just decided to draw an apple on a wooden table. I don't know why I drew that in MS Paint. I drew this with a mouse in MS Paint for no good fucking reason. It doesn't look juicy. I want to eat that apple, man. Good imagination. I can't imagine it. I know. You know, I had to practice my... My paint photography skill looks crunchy. I know I put the little dots on it, so it's got that crisp texture on the on the skin of the apple. Um, it says that it was ordered, so I don't think it has shipped yet. Um, Vic. So they've ordered it, but it has not shipped yet. Also, I think I've decided I need to start uploading shorts to my VODs channel. Try and get the subscriber count up to 500. Because for whatever reason, my VOD channel is going to hit monetization. Because it has so much watch time on it.
speaking of which, if you guys want to check it out, if you guys want to subscribe. Put some of the shorts from your main on it just to see. I could do that, actually. I could just re-upload all my shorts from my main account onto the VODs channel. Why work harder when you could just <laughs> reuse content? You doing your VODs automatically? Cinder does them for me. Um, after I finish a stream, Cinder goes into the Twitch manager and then does the transfer to YouTube button to make sure it goes over there. I was good at bot or something to do auto. Probably, yeah. I actually never looked into it. The minute you said that, I was like, yeah, you're probably right. There probably is a way to do that. Uh, auto upload Twitch VODs to YouTube. As of six years ago, there's no automatic option, so surely nothing has changed in the last six years. Oh, hey, a GitHub thing that says automatically upload Twitch TV called Autobot. <laughs> Although I will say one of the nice things about Cinder doing it is Cinder makes sure to title them and stuff like that based on what game I was playing the majority of the VOD. So Cinder does some of the extra like moderation or some of the extra like management stuff on it to make sure that it's like got like a decent ish title and stuff like that. But yeah. Okay, I need to schedule a phone interview, and I don't know what time to put it at, so I'm going to put it at... Let's just say 4.15 on Wednesday. Phone interview for it, uh, to be a general manager at uh, Domino's. Nothing crazy, just I need to get work and I need something that pays decently that would be relatively easy to get a job doing. So there's a position open for general manager, so I figured I would apply for it and see if I can get it. But pay you 30 an hour. Yo. Okay. Thigh high socks though? Easily. I already got them. <laughs> Call me daddy. I I'll I'll have to run it by Sarah, but I mean for thirty dollars an hour, I mean shit. <laughs> shit. I'm already a Twitch streamer. I basically already want to get paid to be degraded, so I mean, what? I mean, what? I mean, that's... I'm sorry, what? So anyway. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, something I think about all the time is I'm like, 
Uh, I don't think about it all the time, but I think about how hard it must be to be people that like, you know, take photos of themselves regularly in like different outfits and cosplay and stuff like that on, uh, online, like on Twitter or Instagram or whatever, or X or whatever you want to call it, the everything app. Um, cause, uh, I feel like you got to put a lot of effort into, uh, like getting into like peak physical shape. You want to pay me? Hold on. I'm doing the conversion right now. You want to pay me a, a seven, 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 seven tenths of a cent? <laughs> seven, seven hundredths of a cent? Arr. Always read the fine print. God damn it. I haven't seen a penny in a while. Dude, every time I have to pay for something, like I pay for something in cash and I get change, which is not super often, I always put the change in a, in a pile on my dresser because I'm like, I'm never going to use this. So I'm just like waiting for um, the change to pile up enough to like go take it to a bank or something. I mean, technically, I think I could just take it whenever, but like, you know, I don't want to make a bunch of trips, so I just you know, let it pile up until I have like 10 bucks and I'll go take it. Um, Sarah, have you been listening, kind of? <laughs> Seventh time loop. Started I parry everything the most heretical last boss queen continuing with Storia VTuber legend Tower of God season two and Misfit of Demon King Academy. I've heard of Tower of God and I just recently heard about VTuber Legend. I haven't heard of the other ones though. What is your what's your genre of choice? Isekai? I was gonna say, it sounds like Isekai. My Spotify is glitching out. It wasn't a real Spotify link! Watching a YouTube vid titled, like, Lord of the Rings haters. Changing Lord of the Rings haters and saw they had Game of Thrones on their Patreon too. And rewatching. Heck yeah. Me and Sarah are on season three of Game of Thrones. Do I like Iron Man? Iron Man was unironically my favorite superhero growing up. I w I've never been super into superheroes. Well, that and Spider-Man. I really liked Spider-Man when I was like a little kid. And then when I was like early teenager, like 13, uh, I really liked Iron Man. I 
I guess around 10. That's when the Iron, first Iron Man movie came out when I was 10. Uh, I'm going to put this on... It's probably copyrighted. So let me put this on the VOD track real quick. <laughs> is this gonna is this like a like a um tony stark fan cam or is it like a robert downey jr ai thing First one. He does kind of go crazy. I mean, he made an artificial heart in a cave. So, I mean, I don't know. Go shower. small watch parties I heard that you can just watch House of Dragon whenever because it's a prequel so it doesn't actually like if anything it enhances the rewatch of Game of Thrones if you watch House of Dragon first or before you rewatch I don't know <laughs> like how it just cuts back and forth between like the last movies and the first movies. Say what you will about Iron Man, but he kind of the coolest superhero in my opinion. I don't know. Nah, I don't know, man. I kind of think that he's kind of cool, dude. He didn't finish it. I know. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. I just... I'm, I kind of got the point. I kind of got it. I kind of... I kind of... I kind of got it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the end is good though. All right, all right, hold on. I'll go back to it. Let's skip ahead to the ending because I I'm a TikTok viewer. I have brain rot. Social interaction sounds good, butter baby.
damn b. Damn b. Well, in fact, that was a bunch of spoilers for me. I, I'm not caught up on the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, I gotta, I gotta go fucking watch all the cinema or all the Marvel movies at some point. I'm so behind. The last real Marvel movie I watched was in like 2013. When did Thor two come out? Yeah, 2013. <laughs> that is the, this is the last time I watched a Marvel movie was 2013. Telegram guy? Yeah, arrested in France, right? On what grounds was he arrested? Allegations uh, this platform is being used for illicit activity. Ah. What is... I don't even know what Kim.com is. Infinity War was my favorite Avengers movie. Thor 2 wasn't very good, so it may have made you stop watching. I just was losing interest in the... the interweaving plot lines. There were so many movies coming out. And, like, I... I was a kid when the movies were coming out, and, like, I've never been financially, like, super well off by any means. So, like, my family and stuff, we didn't have the money to go to the movies over and over again for, like, every single Marvel movie. And, like, I felt like I was just losing track of what was going on, and I figured, like, I would just watch them eventually. And, like, now I kind of could... But now there's so many, I need to, like, go find the list of, like, what order the movies came out or, like, what order I'm supposed to watch them in and then, like, find them on the million different streaming platforms that they're probably on. They're probably all on just Disney Plus at this point, aren't they? But, yeah. Well, yeah, I figure now that it's, like, over, kind of, that, like... It would be good to to get back into it. <laughs> on Disney timeline order on Disney. Oh, they have like a timeline order on there. Nice. Infinity Saga has them in order on it. That's cool. Well, that's nice, at least. The only problem is I don't want to watch them on Disney+, Plus because I don't want to not be able to sue them if they kill me. So, I don't know. That's, like, kind of my only thing, is, like... If Disney kills me, I, I kind of want to be able to sue them, so I don't know if I want to sign up for Disney+. Plus. <laughs> You guys heard about all that, right? Yeah, actually crazy. Then other things are why I don't do Disney Plus anymore. I mean, the main reason I don't do Disney Plus, honestly, is just financial. But I also don't like the idea... I also don't want to support streaming services in general purely on a selfish, like... Netflix was supposed to save us from cable TV, um, and now we're back to cable with all the streaming services thing. So, I like, purely off of that alone, I, like, don't want to like support streaming services because I don't want to like support the business practice of having to like have a million streaming services and have them all like take shows from each other over and over again. It's so fucking annoying. Cause I use Plex. Hmm. 
Hmm. With legally obtained DVDs, then I rip. Yes. 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 Of course. I only emulate games that I legally own. The uh, copy of that I rip uh, the ROM off the cartridge myself as well. All right. Um, Ad time. Edge, edge, Edgington. Um. What do I want to do here? Eighty. What the hell, man? Yup. Yerp. Do you guys see? There's a supermarket game. That just came out that's free. It's, it's multiplayer supermarket simulator. Didn't see it. I haven't watched any of the gameplay, but it's just... Um, it's literally just... Um, Supermarket simulator, as far as I could tell, but like multiplayer, which is interesting. And it's free. Night, how have you been, by the way? How are things? If you are still in chat. Yeah, it's called Supermarket Together. I wonder how it'd be, uh... Um... It looks like it might support up to... Oh, it says up to 16 players. And then there's, like, franchise points. I'm gonna check it out. I'm going to see if, like, you can play it. So I assume you can still play it solo. I wonder how, like, good it is in comparison to the original. Also, I might give Deadlock another try. You were there, Cinder, when I played it before we could I could talk about it or anything like that or played on stream and I was not really like into it but I might give it another chance back from the ads welcome back
kind of longish. I was in a game for 45 minutes and it wasn't even near done, but maybe that's just because it was a bot game. Maybe with real players it goes a lot faster. I don't know. What's a good name for a supermarket store? Target. Hmm. Hmm. What does difficulty mean? Target. Go Mart. I don't want to be destined to the same thing as regular Kmart. You know what happened to Kmart? You guys remember what happened to Kmart? They died. Welcome to supermarket together. Whoa. Very high FPS. Good FPS. Wow. Sauce. While the store is closed, time passes way more slowly. The first step is to place some furniture. Press tab to open the builder. How do I even get inside? How do I get inside my own store? Oh. What the fuck? Why is there a jail? Why does my supermarket have a fucking jail? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hold up. Only cool people allowed? And Okay, I'm not allowed in there, I guess. Oh! <gasps> There's a fucking cat. Can I can't pet the cat? Dog shit game. Andrew Blackboard. Sweepy sweepy. Sweepy sweepy. Can I put this down? How the fuck do I put this away? Or how do I get rid of it? Oh, there's voice chat in the game. That's fun. How the fuck do I get rid of this? G. No. Not G. Well, I picked it back up so I could test if that was the right key. Oh, I opened chat on accident. Okay, god fucking damn it. How do I get rid of the fucking broom? Why are there so many brooms? Holy shit. Do they make a mess? Like that, but do the, do the customers like piss on the goddamn floor? That's a fucking broom wouldn't be good for piss, but. What key is it to drop the goddamn broom? F. F. F to drop broom. Got it. F to pay respects to the broom. Okay, so this is like the other supermarket game where you get a bunch of shit all at once. But it's like a tree of stuff. Okay. Buy shop space for $250. Storage space. I hate skill trees. I think skill trees are dog shit. Genuinely, I can't explore the world. Okay. Oh, trash can. I don't. I don't like skill trees. I think they're annoying and pointless, and only serve to overcomplicate things. Stuck on a fucking cone. Yo, you can be hop in this game. Okay, that's cool. Oh yeah, I can't go in the room with the fucking elephant with the top hat on it. What the fuck is that guy? Alright, okay. Let's play stuff. 
We definitely need um shelves. Probably. E. E to build. E. I don't know how many shelves I need, so I'm going to place four. So it looks like I have a bunch of money to start out with. I have $5,000, which is crazy. Is that... Okay, it's literally just like Supermarket Simulator where there's not enough space to place the amount that you would hope that there's enough space to place. All right, cool. Why do they do that shit, man? Should get a double fridge. Uh, wait, do I not have a checkout counter? Do I not have a checkout counter? I really not have a checkout counter anywhere? Okay. Where do I put this? Oh, I put it here. Why is left click rotate and not place? Uh... Um, uh, I played so much Supermarket Simulator and I'm confused about what I should, I'm worried. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, good. How do I open the store? Can I not even interact with this? Uh, door. Open. Buy two product shelves, a checkout and a storage. Oh, storage shelf. Only be placed in the annex empty room connected to the manager. Okay. Uh, I forgot I can read. I actually learned how to read a long time ago. That's... Okay, we have a franchise point available. Points are earned by owning a successful business. Go to the manager room and acquire the first perk in the perks blackboard. The first one, there are two options, you asshole. What did I buy? Just shelves. Okay, I'll buy this. Previous franchise modes not acquired. Oh, no, okay. Never mind. I understand. I thought the highlight meant I owned it. Okay, cool. What is this? The fuck does this mean? I can buy TV. What? What? Okay, put that away for now. You've just acquired the first pack of products, and it's important to remember that once you've acquired a product franchise... You can't place that down, like, neatly? Okay, thank you. It's important to remember that once you've acquired a product franchise, customers will expect those products to be in the store, or they will complain about existences. <laughs> Felt that, brother. Go to the manager blackboard, click in it, and then click in products order. Oh my god. This is not how blackboards work. Box of each basic product. Click on the plus symbol of each product to add to the shopping list. Great, now go outside. Okay. Whoa. Go to a product shelf, click left mouse button on one of its rows to fill it. Oh wow, it just it just auto fills it all. There's no animation. Dog shit game, dog shit game, dog shit game. Also press F to drop items where you want to. Okay. Okay. Water. Does water go on shelf? Of course it does. Obviously. Why does it take up an entire row? They wanted to copy the homework, but they wanted to change it up a little bit so it wasn't obvious. I don't like how uneven the amount of product is. That's really aggravating. The 
Like what? Why? Why plus one? Why does it fill up the shelf like that? <laughs> what the fuck? This game is rage baiting me. That one fits perfectly. Okay. Products are placed, but initially labeled at cost price, which means no benefit. Go to the manager room and take one of the pricing devices. Uh, aim at the shelf. If your price surpasses more than double, will have an increasing amount chance of not buying it. If a product has cost $1 and you set your price higher than $2, customers may not buy it. Try to set a price to all six different products. Mouse wheel to add or subtract. Oh my God. Mouse wheel plus E to do increments of 0.2. What the fuck kind of convoluted way of setting prices is this shit? Why can't they just type the number? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Why? What the fuck? Why? Why can't I put in the number? Nine D. I have to do mental math on this. Okay. Eighty nine. Let's double that. One point eight. One point nine eight. One point seven eight. One point six seven. One point seven eight. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Three dollars minus two cents. Uh, 270. Oh my, this is terrible. This has got awful. Wow, okay. Perfectly done. Your store is not ready to open to allow customers in. Press the green button located in the manager's room, but first read the important info below. Where's the green button? Okay. Every Thursday, market inflation increases on some products and you will have to review prices. You can drop empty boxes in the container just outside or carry them to the farthest container across the street and earn some money back by recycling it. What? I could have recycled. God damn it. Money can be increased with a perk. At day eight, thieves and trash will have a chance to spawn. The solution to both is the broom. Hit the thieves and they will drop one stole product per hit. Each checkout can have a queue of eight customers. They won't become impatient, but extra customers that do not detect a free checkout queue will become thieves and leave without paying. You can place lights and decorations with the tablet item in the manager room. The more players, the more difficult. Try hitting players with the broom. Okay. Okay, dude. Why the fuck do I place this? E. B. Oh, whoa. What? How the fuck? Oh, what? Why? For what reason can I not put it on the beam? What the fuck, man? Yeah. Yeah. $30 a light. Seems good to me. Uh, no. Why is a TV $200? What perk does having a TV do to me? I'll buy it. I got money. Fuck it. 
What is this? Information sign? What does that do for me? Can I d Hello? No, okay, yeah. Okay. Dumb. Dumb fuck. Nice. I want more lights. How do I rotate? Okay. And prison light. Can't have lights in prison. Never mind. You call me? <laughs> Supermarket together. I'm gonna buy more lights, fuck it. They're cheap. There. Now it's nice and bright in my house. This is a house, by the way. What up, Barry? That's super loud. Okay. I'll put a plant for $40 right there. I don't know if this does anything. Like, uh, does this give me anything? Is this helpful at all for me to do this? Whatever. Boom. Supermarket open. Can I interact with anything? Like, how do I become a cashier? How do I interact with the cash register? Is there no way for me to be a cashier? The aesthetics get more customers? Maybe. Too expensive? I made it exactly double market price. I'm gonna, I'll whack you on the head. You bought it. Okay. Oh, I don't have to interact with it. I just... Okay. Eleven fifty eight. Money given. Money to return. Okay. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Twenty five. Thirty. Forty. Two. Okay. This is just supermarket simulator, but not as good, I feel like. I guess the, the draw really is just that you can play with other people. Credit card 10, 43. Back, we'll go back. One dollar and 71 cent. This is me, I'm practicing for dominoes right now. For when I get a real job. Okay. Um, they're gonna ask me on the phone. They're gonna be like, "So, what? What are your qualifications?" I'll be like, "I played a thousand hours of Supermarket Simulator." You like that cat? You like that cat, bro? You like that fucking you like that cat, bitch? <laughs> I, I like how this is Supermarket Simulator, but with worse animations. What? Oh, I typed in the wrong fucking number. I'm so stupid. One, two, one, two, three, bum, bum, there. Ten fifteen. Okay. 
First thing I'll do is add more lights, a plant, and a TV. Easily. They think the rice is too expensive. What do they even know? What do you even know about that? Boom. There. Now it's fair price. One cent cheaper. Five, six, seven, eight. Buy rice. It's too expensive. No, it isn't. Stand under the dumb fuck sign. Stand over here. Stand under the dumb fuck sign. That's what you get for being stupid. Stand under the dumb fuck sign. That's your job now. You stand under the dumb fuck sign. $11.12 is your change. Why are you buying two salt? I don't understand. Salt water. It's free in the ocean, my boy. Why don't you go out that door? Why are you going out this door? Don't pay for themselves, people. What are you... Stand under the dumb fuck sign. Stand under the dumb fuck sign right now. That's it. Wait, I sold that? I didn't mean to sell that. Damn it. I really liked my dumb fuck sign. Throw the tablet over there. I don't give a shit about it. There. Dumb fuck. Epic. Holy shit. They're not complaining anymore. They know the prices are right. Nice. Uh, I'm, I don't feel like I'm making money. I had $5,000 at the beginning of this. And now I have $2,068. Hey, 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 hey. Stick that broom up your arse? This is abuse? Wait, you're, don't touch the cat. 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 Hey, by the way, don't touch the cat. Oh, real quick, don't touch the cat. Hey, also, if you wouldn't mind, don't touch the cat. Okay. Sorry. I have customers, by the way. I actually really respect my customers. <laughs> hey, buddy. Stand under the sign. The rice is not too expensive. You don't know what you're good. You don't you don't know you know what's good for you. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh true. I wonder if I can put a sign outside. Let's see if I can put a sign outside. I can't. I can put a plant there. Why can't I put this there? Why can't I put a plant here, but I can't put... There's two cats! <sighs> That's cute. I love cats. 
I can put a TV here. The fuck? Yeah. Yeah. I should charge them like it's gas. Charge an extra ninth of a penny at the end. That's the secret they don't know. What is up with the TV? What is the point of the TV if I can't use it? How do I turn on the TV? What is the point? I want to turn on the TV. I want to televise this. Is this a, this is a self checkout, is it not? Supermarket name. Target. Nice. It's a new name. No one's ever used it before. No, 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 no. I want the TV to work. I would really like for the TV to work. I also want to be able to pet this cat. Close. Close store. How do I close the store? Why can't I close the store? Yo, they got the Super Auto Pets music in here. What does this mean? What? What? I just put myself in jail. Oh, and I have to click this that many times as my punishment. What the fuck? Why did I do this to myself? Sorry, I was in jail. I can help you now. My bad. Sorry about that. I put myself in jail. Sorry I couldn't take your order. Hopefully you understand. I like that they couldn't even model like the the coins. They just made little mounds of silver. Can I turn off the lights now? What the frick? What the freaking heck, dude? So this is just Supermarket Simulator, except for you can't buy AI employees. All your employees have to be real people that you are playing multiplayer with, basically. They just phase right through me like I'm a ghost. I don't really want to play this anymore. 
I thought, okay, I'll just finish one day, but I can't even end the day early. Come on. Can I end the day yet? Can I end the day yet? Come on. Come on. Need a broom for this? Need a broom for this? Need a broom for this? I need a broom to hit people, apparently. Holy skyscraper. I mean, the city's kind of cool. I'd like to be able to explore it. Very dark outside. These street lamps do nothing. Don't worry, ma'am, I got you. I know it's kind of weird for a cashier to do this, but don't worry about it. This is actually the meta for this game, so... Can I be done? I don't like my job. I don't like my job anymore. I want to be done. Nice. I was able to... F nice. Okay. Finally. I found products too expensive products. Franchise experience. Income. Bought product costs. Rent cost. I lost $3,000 today. So pretty good business, I'd say. All things considered, the business is booming. Alright, I am I'm done with this game. <laughs> Average Gen Alpha employee. I don't like my job. I want to be done. Are Gen Alpha even old enough to get jobs yet? No way, right? What's the oldest Gen Alpha? The oldest gen alpha is 14. They will have jobs soon. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm like the oldest gen Zer. I'm one of the oldest gen Zers that's ever done to ever do it. I'm somewhere between the youngest millennial and the oldest Gen Z -er. But Gen Zach works for me, so. Mm, what is next game to playing? Hmm, what is next game to playing? Hmm. No, I've not played Supermarket Simulator since... March. I like how Supermarket Simulator has three achievements. I have two out of three of them. It's complete 100 checkouts all on your own, complete 50 checkouts, and purchase all expandings. I remember I thought I was going to do that too. I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get everything. And then, and then I got bored. I 
I have 17 hours on Supermarket Simulator. Duh. Um. I could try deadlock again, but I don't know. About it. I don't know. I don't know. What if I played Neon White? What if I went back? I swore it off. What if I went back? Why, Sarah? Why not? Give me one good reason. Why do you become sad, though? You gotta come on now. Neon White, this good time. I am saying it. I am saying it out loud. I haven't played it in so long. I haven't launched it since June. And even then, I only launched it for like five seconds. One one level. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You can't stop me. I'm doing it. Neon white gaming, neon white gaming, neon white gaming. There's one specific level I want to try. Uh, I think it might be here. It's with the rockets. There's a level of rockets that I want to do. Is it kill switch? I don't think it is. No. But this is the right, like, level. I mean, not the right level. It's... It's not the right level. It is the wrong level, but... Um... Let's just go from the beginning, and we'll see... It's not this one. It's this one. Fourteen. You 
You're supposed to like land right here and then like here. And then you go like that, and you go like that, and you go like this, and then you go like this, and that, and this, that, and this. And then it's like this. That's 14. What's the time I need to be? 13. Oh my god, my time was so close. Maybe I can't do this one. The guy that like I watched to like do speedrunning on this like came out of the video about how to do this level. And uh, so I saw that and I was like, I want to try this level again. Wait, I think it's like, hold on. You're supposed to like, Something like that. Hold on. Something like that. I don't know. I didn't read the book. Yeah, I don't know. Something like that. But that's the only level I really wanted to try again, so I don't really care anymore. But... Oh yeah, true. My favorite horror game season. We love horror games around here, for sure. We're done with Neon White already, I think. Even though I like Neon White. I just wanted to try that one level real quick. I really just wanted to try that one level. I figured if I could get it immediately, it would be epic. And if not, that was fine. And I couldn't, so it's chill. Did I tell you guys I beat, I beat Gold Stake on Bellatro, by the way? So, I'm officially super sick and epic and swag and awesome. Just thought you guys should know. That was already the case, y'all. Hey, Yo. Mm -mm. Hmm. I guess we don't really have to play a game per se. Did you guys know you don't have to play games on stream to be a streamer? Turns out, by the way, isn't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? Get the... I know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. It's true, though. It is true. 
It's Drew. Many people are saying you don't have to. No. I'm saying it's crazy. How many shorts did I make? I didn't make a whole lot, did I? You know, it's been like a year since I did that like stint of doing shorts, actually, which is fucked up. Yeah. It was a good little experiment, though. I think. Yep. Exactly. Song's instrumental sounds so familiar. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's from something. Desert level track from Ape Escape 3. What up, Seth? How you doing? How are you? I'm quite all right. I have a like interview thing in a couple days. Hope I get the job. Finally make a little income. Would be nice. Positive vibes your way. I appreciate it. It's nothing special, per se. I applied to my local, like, Domino's for the general manager position. I don't really think I'm qualified for it, necessarily. So I don't think that I'll necessarily get the job. But even if they would hire me as, like, a delivery driver, I'd be happy with that, honestly. Just something to get the income flowing.
I've never really been in like a managerial position in a food establishment. So I don't know exactly how that would go, but. Small learning curve. Yeah. You'll get it. I assume it wouldn't be something I couldn't do, especially given I do have certain experience with, like, managing people and stuff like that. For the last, like, six years of streaming, I've done, like, a lot of different projects, like Minecraft servers and stuff that require me to, like, manage people and stuff. So I figure the biggest learning curve for me would just be, like, learning all the things that I need to know about Domino's as a franchise specifically, like the, you know, the different products and stuff like that, that, um, you know, all that shit. Scheduling will be your worst friend, though, if you have to do that, yeah. I can imagine... Umbrella Academies, I didn't realize. For Domino's, you'll do just fine, I believe. Yeah. I don't know anything about what the, like, workplace experience is like for, like, a Domino's, so I don't know if, like... I don't know how much of a pain in the ass that is, but... FIFO. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Yeah, the, the job description of the general manager at Domino's was basically like, you do all of the jobs that everyone else does, and then also this extra stuff. It, like, it, it seemed like, oh, uh, you'll also be delivering and stuff as well, by the way. Which is why I applied for it, because I was like, okay, so basically I just do more jobs and then get paid more. Okay. I'll apply for that one. Most money. Manager at a Pizza Hut. Plus, I figure it'd be good experience for me anyway. Even if I don't end up liking it or I end up sucking at it, it would be a good life experience at the end of the day. I keep thinking Umbrella Academy is related to um, Resident Evil. Is it? Or is it not? I don't think it is. But every time I hear the name, I assume I, it sounds like it is because of Umbrella Corp.
Fun chilling with you later. Peace out, Alpha. Not related. Good cast for sure, though. Hell yeah. Mm. All right, I'm putting my shorts up on eBay. No, uh, I'm putting my the YouTube short videos up on the VOD channel right now just to see. Seconds in one minute. Oh, uh, bumper. What other videos do I have? This one, Jorah's Masks, Top 3 Masks. Okay, here we go. I remember that the shorts would always get like most of their views within like an hour being uploaded too. So this experiment shouldn't take too long to see if it is going to work out decently or not. Could be kind of the motivation I need to finally get back on making stuff again though. Should be good. I ever upload this one? Uh, 
no idea how much different it is if it's a channel with less subscribers it really makes a difference yeah i i have no idea like in theory it shouldn't but it's hard to say for sure I don't even know where I I like reorganized my files like to consolidate them. And like in that process. <laughs> Grobly, thank you for the 50 months. Holy shit. Treating you well? It's going all right. Things are in in the works. <laughs> you know? Mm mm. -mm. Like, I don't know where I put some of this stuff that I was working on. Like, I, I put all the video files in one place, but I don't know. Maybe some of them are in projects. No, it doesn't make sense. Put them in a safe place. Well, I consolidated all my files, right? But, like... I think I might have put... Some stuff in places where they didn't belong. Like, misorganized, basically. So... You know. Epic. Yeah, I definitely did put some stuff in the wrong place because I've got some, like, vertical videos in with videos which are supposed to be video files and not, like, finished videos. So. Yeah, I just found the one I was looking for. I have to go, I need to go back through my files again. I like, what I keep doing is I'll go through to like organize. It works out well, thank you. I keep going through to like organize and then I like, I'll consolidate stuff and organize it to an extent. But then like once I like reach a certain threshold of like completion, I like check a certain box. I don't like finish the job. I like get halfway there and then I'm like, that's good enough. Good job. I don't even know what to call this one. It's a Valorant TikTok. Very ADHD. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, I'm on new meds. Um, which I've been on now for almost two weeks and around two weeks is when you're supposed to start to feel or notice like positive effects of it and it's supposed to like get better up until about six weeks but yeah <laughs> who are you who are you who are you next paycheck yo huge gave up organizing my existing files and just shoveled them into a cursed folder instead just organize new files that i collect Wait yeah but see so you do that enough times and then you just end up with a bunch of dumpster folders 
And you're like, from now on. And then you fuck it up again. And then you end up with another dumpster folder. And then you're like, from now on. And then you end up with another dumpster folder. And then you're like, I got to consolidate all my dumpster folders. <laughs> Whoopsies. I usually just choose what I need to keep and delete the rest. How I lost so much important stuff that way. I know so many people that lose files like that. I've known a lot of people that go that just like clean sweep shit and just delete like things and mass swaps without like looking at it. They go, I don't, I don't probably don't need any of this, and then they just delete it all. And then like a year later, they're like, "Where's that one thing that I wanted to like remember or whatever? Or where's that one video file I made forever ago?" And it's, it's just fucking gone forever. That's why I keep everything because I'm like a memory hoarder and I don't want to ever lose anything. See, the nice thing about the way that I have things organized now, organized, is that even if I lose it, I know it still exists somewhere. I didn't delete it. I know it's there. I just have to find it. <laughs> Ever do that with is my Pinterest pictures folder because I more than likely have them saved on my Pinterest account. If not, womp womp. Yeah. I know people that have like deleted entire YouTube channels of like videos where the only place they had the videos was on the YouTube channel. And they're like, damn, I kind of wish I hadn't deleted my YouTube channel with all those videos on it because I kind of wanted to, uh, kind of wish I could go back and look at that. It's like, yeah. Yo. Yo. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can give a song suggestion, Growly, that's fine. One bit. Yippee! Yippee! The channel points, that's fair. Yippee!
Well, the shorts are getting some views already. One of them has 60 views. One of them has... 38. So that's like a decent sign, honestly. 70k here and somehow I've been at 50k for months now. You love Tangia. You love Tangia and TTS, that's how. <laughs> and I I dare say you've probably bet big a couple times. Knock his closet. Ask me is. who's a good boy. Probably my cats, Deku and Cheech. They're always up to something, but at least they don't chew loudly like some people I know. But hey, if we're talking about good boys in the chat, I think we need to consult the merch guy. He's definitely got some insights on that. Merch guy. Merch guy. I love merch guy. Naki's closet asked me, can you make a chewing sound pretty please? Choose loudly. Mmm, delicious. Just like a taco roll covered Choose in Choose loudly. <laughs> Gotta love that sound, right? Or maybe not. It's the absolute worst. But hey, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Oh, that's funny. Choose loudly. Yes. Exactly what I asked for. Fuck, I need to find my other Zelda shorts. Inaka's Closet asked me, I'm Niam, Niam Yummy Chicken. Nom nom nom. I can hear that chicken crunching from here. Just don't chew too loud, or the merch guy might come out of hiding, and we don't want that chaos. Hmm. Chicken's cool and all, but it's not as good as tacos drenched in ranch. But hey, to each their own, right? See, I told you. You love TTA. <laughs> That's where it is where they all go. <laughs> um, I have somehow lost a lot of my shorts. I don't know where I lost them to. Oh, I know where they probably are. Pro those shorts are probably actually in. No? Wait. I don't know. Uh. Yeah, awful.
Dude. Jeez. Holy yeah. shit, Grobbly. You just upgraded the tier three? What the fuck? Yo. Thank you. I appreciate it. What the frick? What the friggin' heck, dude? Crunches when it crunches. That's why I love Nestle Crunch. <laughs> subscription recently so i have so much extra moms <laughs> <Okay. laughs> say so i can spend it all on one subscription now baby i don't make jingles like they used to no no they don't where the hell would i put the video file man What the hell? Inika's Closet asked me, what is your favorite jingle? Honestly, jingles nowadays just can't compete with the classics. But if I had to pick, I'd say anything with a catchy melody that sticks in your head, like those fast food commercials. You know the ones that make you crave tacos drenched in ranch while you're just trying to vibe. No one knows about But hey, those. I've been saying that. What's your jam? No one knows what you're talking about, dude. You're crazy. Just want to make a Zach theme jingle. Go through my list. True, 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 true. Yeah. If I ever go back to streaming on Wacko again, you know? It'd be cool. I wouldn't be opposed to it necessarily, but don't, don't, uh, or cancel your subscription for now, for sure. Especially right now, you have just duplicate emotes at this point since I've uploaded them on the main channel. Yeah. Inaka's Closet asked me, where were you on May 6, 1937, and was it anywhere near a blimp? Honestly, I wasn't around then. I'm way too young for that, being born in 98 and all. But if I had to guess, I'd say the blimp scene on that day was probably wild with the Hindenburg disaster. Talk about an explosive end to a party, right? Just goes to show blimps can be a bit of a gamble. But hey, I've been saying that. I was born in 98. Ah, uh, I plead the fifth. That you're born in 95? What? How old do you think I am? Wait, hold on. That's a genuine question. That kind of sounded like sarcastic asshole I That's a genuine question. How old do you think I am? 29? You, think I you thought I was 29? Fair enough, I suppose. You were 25 when I started watching? No, I was not. <laughs> Maybe 27? <laughs> what the fuck? No, I wasn't. <laughs> uh, follow before I watched? I don't know, man. I'm 26 right now. I think you were 22 when I started watching. You've been following me since 2019, so I was 21 going on 22, yeah. Anyaki followed me when I was 23. Actually followed me four days before I turned 23. 
I was 22 when Anyaki followed me. It's been five years. Yeah, I know. In October, it's been tw uh, five years, probably. Don't look now. You're getting older. <laughs> Follow date is funny. Why is that? I met a sentient 2013 today. I don't need to hear about all that. I don't need to hear about all that. I do not need to hear about all that. January 6th. Oh, right, right, right. I don't believe you. I simply do not believe you. Been around to watch you grow over the years. Probably you have. Seen many, many stages of my life and the channel, for sure. You've seen the majority of it at this point by a lot. I remember when you first joined, it was like you were a new viewer in comparison to how long the stream had been going because you followed late 2019. I've been streaming since early 2018, so I'd already been streaming for almost two years. And I was like, oh my God, I've been streaming for a while now. Wow, welcome in. And now it's like I've been streaming for six full years <laughs> and I'm going on, going on seven now. So, niece called me uncle last week. She never called me uncle. I'm like five years older than her. Yeah, the whole unk thing started getting popular. So many people are going to start actually calling people uncle, but like as a pseudo insult. Which is just, just, it's funny, I guess. <laughs> it's funny, I guess. Uh, called unk as an insult. It's, yeah, it's funny. I, I don't take any offense to it. Honestly, I, I like the idea of being an uncle, so... If someone called me Unk, I'd just be like, yes, sir. But you're literally her uncle. Older brother, that's fair. Night we stayed up till 7 a.m. playing Portal 2 as far as uh, with all three of us absolutely out our minds. Lives rent free in my mind, uh, head on a da daily. Yeah. I used to stay up really late with him a lot and do like, um, the stupidest shit. Like, make stupid things in Photoshop and shit. And just laugh and laugh and laugh. Technically, it's second cousin once removed. Uncle is probably my favorite name. Love my nieces and nephews. In Mexico, we say second uncle. First cousin once removed. Interesting. First cousin once removed. That's confusing. You're sleep deprived, yeah. Inaki's closet asked me, who is the guy with a worm in his noggin who offered to eat another one for a debate? Sounds like you're talking about that classic meme with the guy who has a worm in his head. It's a wild visual, honestly. <laughs> but debating worms? That's a whole new level of strange. I mean, we've all got our quirks. But offering to eat another worm? That's a hard pass for me. I'll stick to tacos drenched in ranch instead. Way better for the noggin. Oh, they gotta be drenched, dude. They don't gotta be drenched. It's okay. 
when I was still in elementary school. Uh, dude, come on. Come on. Dude, you... I, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I was seventh grade safe. <laughs> like, I was like, what? I'm still screenshotting your message and I'm going to edit it and put it on Twitter and just put chat. Am I cooked? <laughs> Because that's funny. <laughs> Sixth grade slam entry here. Got you. Okay. Do you do... Uh, what What are the different tiers of school for you? Is it elementary and then high school? Do you have middle school? Uh, go work on puzzle time. Sounds good, Grobly. Appreciate the lurk. Elementary is one to six. Middle is seven to nine. But they say first of middle school and so on. And high school is 10 to 12. But they also say first, second. Interesting. How do you do, um, like, specialization? Do you do that? Like, I'm pretty sure they're like, I, I'm not sure if this is true. I might be misremembering, but like in the UK, like they start specializing in like a career path, like in high school, like AP, no, not necessarily. Like, I think in the UK, they start specializing as if you're in college already, like start specializing in like a career path in in high school. Uh, but I might be misremembering where that is, to be fair. I was just curious if you do that like in, in 10th, 11th, 12th, or whatever, 11th, 12th. And that's why it's separated like that. By semesters though, so an 11th grader will say they are in fifth, but it's just fifth semester. That's crazy. Okay. I mean, it's not crazy. It's just different, obviously, but compared to my normal comprehension of the idea, it seems crazy to me. No, we do not do that. My old school had AP because it was in an IB program, but my final high school barely had Wi-Fi. I know some private schools do. Okay, yeah. Yeah, here we can take, like, courses in high school. Like, we get to choose courses in high school that are more tailored towards, like, what we're interested in. But, like, there's some freedom in choosing courses and stuff, but it's nothing, like... It's not, like, really, like, super dialed in. Um... Some schools do have elective courses, but mine didn't. Like, my old school had a bunch of, uh, like, workshops. Don't say freshman and junior, we say senior year. Interesting. Yeah, we, um... For us, obviously, it's... Elementary school is kindergarten to fourth grade, or fifth grade. 
and then middle school is fifth or sixth grade to eighth grade, and then high school is ninth grade to twelfth grade. So you got freshman, sophomore, junior, senior for high school. Um, most places, fifth grade is still elementary school, but some places put fifth grade in middle school. It just kind of depends. Yeah, or junior high. Either or. Interchangeable, for sure. People call it both where I'm at. Elective courses, but mine didn't. And my old school had a bunch of like workshops, but I'm talking about private school for the most part. Public schools, my school are not the goaded. I technically started school in pre-K, which is meant to be one year before kinder, but I started three years before because apparently I would sob when my sisters left for school. Yeah, I was in pre pre-K three and pre-K four, which just means pre-kindergarten age three and pre-kindergarten age four because you're supposed to start kindergarten at age five. So, but when I was in pre-K three, three i'm pretty sure that i was two <laughs> so i think i started school when i was two one and a half yeah like i'm pretty sure i was literally still a baby when they put me in school <laughs> Because, like, if school starts in August and my birthday's in January and I was four when I started kindergarten and turned five in January of kindergarten year and I was in pre-K three and four, so I was in school two years before kindergarten, then pre-K three I would have started at two years old in August of 2000. Two thousand? Is that right? I gotta do the math backwards, but I think that's right. Daycare with math for me? I mean yeah, pre K three and pre K four are basically just daycare for kids with like like the whole point of pre K three and pre K four are basically just to get kids acquainted with like what school will be like but with no like actual real learning other than like I think maybe they teach you like colors and like numbers to 10 maybe maybe I don't even know if they teach you that because I remember I was learning then again I guess I relearned everything again in kindergarten anyway I think it's just like supposed to be training wheels for kindergarten I mean it is called pre-k so I think it's just like kindergarten twice so by the time you're in kindergarten you've already done kindergarten like three times you're just like hella prepped for kindergarten because like i remember i was learning colors and numbers and the alphabet in kindergarten so i don't know i remember i was reading chapter books in kindergarten and they were still teaching us how to read um like, we were not necessarily supposed to know how to read yet, and I was, like, reading a chapter book. I was reading a book called Hatching Magic. I specifically remember that. The, when, when did the book come out? Originally published 2003, May of 2003, so I was five when it first came out. So I got that book right after... So I got that book right after I was out of kindergarten or and going into first grade, I guess. I just remember reading it somewhere between kindergarten and first grade. I think I got it at a book fair at the end of kindergarten and started reading it that, that summer and was reading it in first grade. Genuine Kinder at three. I don't know. It was so confusing. I remember my teachers would ship me off to the higher grades because I was so hyperactive 
and couldn't stop adding pre-k were literally next to my sister's elementary so my teachers would sometimes walk me to the elementary and drop me off one dude once got put a year ahead because his mom wanted him to be with his friends as well yeah in my state it is not i guess it's illegal i don't know how how else to say it i i i, I guess technically it's illegal there's no skipping grades here in public school I tried to skip grades. I wanted to skip grades really bad when I was young. I thought that I deserved to be in a higher grade. Um, but I I did not get... Um, I was not able to like skip a grade because I, I like told my teacher, I was like, look how good I am at math and stuff. Like, Don't you think that I like deserve to be in a higher grade? She's like, yeah. But you don't... like, we, You can't do that here. So Sucks for you. You're stuck in second grade. Have you ever heard of Team Caution? Um, uh, I've not. Should I? In tag? I don't know what that is. That's probably like... I'm assuming that's the name for like your advanced school stuff. I was in an advanced course, yeah, when I was in elementary school. Yeah, I mean, I was in a gifted program, yeah. Uh, I was in gifted from kindergarten to eighth grade. The Technically, the way it worked is... Um, last class to leave elementary with it because apparently parents would complain yeah so that's kind of what happened with mine in a sense i was in like the gifted program in kindergarten through second grade and then i moved to a new town and when i got here uh, i went from being in a private school to being in a public school and they um Basically, we're like, oh, well, you were in the gifted program at your old school, but you have to retest into the, the gifted program basically here. And I was like, okay. So I tested, and they basically went, well, you like, you definitely like passed to be in the gifted program, but we don't have enough slots in the gifted program for your grade. So they were literally just like, yeah, you could be in it, but... There's only we only like allow fifteen kids in a grade to be in it, so you are not allowed to be in it, basically. And so then they had me retest again in third grade, and they they did the same thing. And then they had me retest in fourth grade, and then in fourth grade they were like, um, okay, you are like on the waiting list to be in it for fifth grade. I think was basically how it worked. And then if I remember correctly, they still didn't put me in it in fifth grade. They never told me how it worked. They told me I had a 140 IQ and that was all they said. Because the, the test to get into the gifted program was literally just an IQ test. They told me I had an IQ of 140 and a reading level of a 12th grader when I was in fourth grade. And I was like, cool. And they're like, but gifted program full, so sorry. Um, but I remember I was definitely in it in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade for sure. And I remember I was so upset because basically, yeah, so I was going to be in it in 5th grade, but then they didn't let me in it again. But then they were like, you'll be in it in 6th grade. But then they reworked the program at the school that I was at. So when I did get into it, initially, the way they did it was it was like an hour away from like your normal courses or whatever, like during like a certain period, you would go to the gifted course class and they would do all kinds of stuff. Like they were teaching foreign language. Um, they were teaching like advanced history. They were teaching like, they were basically teaching like all kinds of cool things to like the kids that were in it. Like they were teaching French to the kids in fifth grade that were in the, in the advanced program in fourth grade. Um, but I didn't get in it until sixth grade. Um, and when when sixth grade started, they changed the program 
so that it was just like a normal middle school class and it replaced your history class. And so it went from being like this cool class where you would learn foreign language and like other interesting things that like would be cool for like an advanced student to learn. And instead they at least no history. No, that's not what it was. It was history. It was literally just history class. The difference was we had to do twice as much work. That was the difference. They changed it. So instead of it being like a general, like you're a smart kid, here's a bunch of cool stuff that smart kids could learn stuff. They went, we're replacing your history class with an advanced history class. And so you have to read two times as much of the book and do two times the homework. All of my history teachers were very um, progressive. Um, but yeah. High school classes in junior high, then you kind of do it again in high school. Yeah. Um, and when I got, when we got into eighth grade, the teacher that taught it was like, hey guys, I have unfortunate news. The school district fucking sucks and they canceled high school gifted program. Um, and he basically said it like that to us. He was like, I'm very disappointed. I fought really hard for them to keep the high school course. And they said no. So this is the last year you'll be in the gifted program. And then in high school, you're going to be just in like normal classes, just like everybody else. If you want to challenge yourself, take AP classes was basically what he said when we went out. So they basically slowly dismantled it as I like progressed through the grades. Completely changed this curriculum because of October 7th and he had some weird view on a lot of things. Yeah. My, um, my, my history teachers were, were really good. Um, Yeah. I mean, for the most part, my high school, like history, social studies teacher, whatever you want to call it. Um, he, he was kind of funny actually, because he, um, he would like yell at me for being on my phone. Like I got in trouble with him, like in trouble, like relatively often. Um, Also the principal. <laughs> yeah, he uh basically I'd be on my phone and he'd like yell at me and I'd be like, I'm paying attention. He'd be like, like, no, you're not. And I'd be like, Yes, I am. And he'd be like, What did I just say? And then I'd like tell him exactly what he had just said. This is basically just like as an adult, I've learned that this is just what basically what my ADHD is, right? Like I I needed to like fidget with my phone in order to pay attention like auditorily to what he was saying but because if I stared at the projector I would get so bored that I would tune him out. Um so I like play on my phone and I like tried to like tell him that and he's like that doesn't make sense. Like you can't play on your phone and pay attention at the same time. I was like literally yes I can because I am. Um and um It got to the point where, like, the argument eventually became... He sent me out to the hall, and he came out to the hall, and I was like... I was like, dude, like, I have all my homework done. I have perfect grades in this class. I can... Like, I'm paying attention to everything you're saying, everything you're doing. And he basically... He finally, like... He finally told me... Like, he finally talked to me as if I were an adult, which was nice. He basically was like, okay, but here's the thing. Not everyone in this class does have their homework done. Many of them are like failing and are not able to pay attention. And if they see you playing on their phone, they're not going to understand why they can't play on their phone. So I can't let you play on your phone because then everyone will want to play on their phone and they are already failing. And I was like, I was like, okay, at least I can understand that. At least I can get where you're coming from. Like, when you say it like that, like at least that makes sense to me.
But also just tell them they're fucking stupid and I'm smart as shit, so I get the special. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I don't know. I feel like it should have been one of those things. Smart kids win at life, get used to it. I feel like it should have been one of those things, though, where it's like, if he had framed it as like, if you have an A in this class, then you can be on your phone. Like, it's a special reward. It also might have made people work harder because then they'd think like, oh, if I actually get an A in this class, then I can fuck off. <laughs> you know, like if you had framed it as a reward, like, OK, if you get A's in this class, you get to fuck off and do what you want. Um, but then again, I, I guess he probably would have run into that problem where parents would get mad and then like, he'd have to deal with the parents politics bullshit where like the parents would be like, well, my kid deserves an A. You, you fucked up and made, gave them a B, but they deserve an A. And then it would have been like, fuck. So it's just easier just not to fuck with it at all, but still. Crocheting in class. That was more believable. <laughs> That's funny. So many teachers told me you don't need homework to learn, but I can't not give you homework. Yeah, that was my problem. And I had that problem. So I had a, in 11th grade, I had a math class. My teacher would get pissed at me because I was on my phone all the time. And for all the homework, I would copy my homework off of someone else during class. So like the class before or literally during class before we turned it in i would be copying my homework um me and another kid had like an agreement too where like sometimes we would do it where like i would do the front of the homework and he would do the back of the homework and then in class right before we turned it in we'd copy each other's answers for the other side so we could do half the work <laughs> um Let me be better when it's easy, because as soon as it gets hard, I'm free-falling. Aren't making much, and they have to put up with so much bullshit. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I get it much more now that I'm, like, a grown-up. Like, I fuck, I totally get it. Especially a high school teacher who's dealing with, like, hundreds of students a day. Like, over the course of a week is probably dealing with multiple hundreds of students, like, especially in my high school. Like, they've got to be so fucking fed up with everything all the time. Like, I, I get it. It just sucks as the, the student when you are the student because it's like hard to put yourself in that perspective or in those shoes. Um, group chats are lifesaver, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I um, The teacher, my, my, my math teacher, he, he would get very upset with me, right? Um, and he was also someone that like kind of talked to me as an adult. He's like, dude, I get it. You're smart. Um... But like, you know, I, dude, I got into a lot of shit in high school with a lot of my teachers because high school was like really just like a really, it was a really bad time for me mentally in general. Like my mental health was just like at an all time low and like I was so fed up with everything. And like being undiagnosed ADHD was just a real fucking shit show basically. Um, and uh, I would get into shit with like all of my teachers over it. Um, I even wrote like an essay to one of my teachers telling them that they were like basically telling them that they were a fucking dumbass and a douchebag because um, I they would tell me like they were my study hall teacher so like they weren't actually teaching me anything Um, they what they were supposed to do was just basically babysit us while we worked on homework in that course it was supposed to be a free hour but he didn't he would get annoyed at anyone talking so we had to be completely dead silent the entire time and we weren't allowed to be on our phones and we weren't allowed to sleep we had to be working on homework or reading a book those were the only two things we were allowed to do and i basically wrote an essay to him being like that's fucking stupid because i've already read all the books i need to read like i i've turned in my my books reports so like i'm caught up on book reports i have all a's in all of my different classes so wh why are you to say that i'm not allowed to do research on a topic that i'm interested on my phone during class 
when I'm already done with everything else. Like that doesn't make any sense. There was one time the the thing that really pissed me off was when he um I was working on homework with someone else in the class and he said, "Hey guys, I understand you're working on homework together, but can you do it without talking?" And I was like, "Did you hear what you just said?" No. How am I supposed to communicate without talking to the person next to me? That makes no fucking sense. You are an idiot. And so like eventually I wrote this letter to him and he he knew I wrote it and he like didn't like me as much as I didn't like him basically and he read it out in front of the whole class to try and embarrass me like he was bullying me basically like he was trying to make fun of me by reading this like thing out to the class which like only served to piss me off further and so I like did everything in my power to piss him off at that point like I would like sit on my phone I'd sleep in class I'd do anything and then like the thing that he realized that was really really shitty for him was he couldn't send me to the principal's office because if I went to the principal's office they would check my grades and check my previous like infractions or whatever and see that like nothing was wrong with me as a student and so he had no good reason to send me to the office. So I was, I basically would just like do everything he told me I wasn't allowed to just to piss him off because he couldn't do anything about it. Parents were clueless. Yeah. I mean, I went to therapy in high school and the, ther or I went to a counselor in high school and the counselor told me I couldn't be helped because I was too smart. I was like, dude, I, want to die <laughs> that's crazy that you said that to me um yeah no ai ai was not a thing covid because nobody saw it except for my english teacher yeah dude i did the same thing with my english teacher my english teacher told me um when i admitted to her that i had depression and that it was really hard for me to like get stuff done she told me that family members of her have depression and that I need to learn to deal with it. That's what she, she literally said that. Like she literally told me boo hoo womp womp. Like that's like what she told me. It was like, oh, you have depression? Womp womp. She was one of those teachers too where like the annoying kid that had like all F's she loved because he was charismatic and he would come in late every single day and he'd be like, hey, what's up, Missy? Blah, blah, blah. And then he'd like be annoying during class and shit. And she was and she loved it. But like I'm I have B plus and I'm like getting everything done, but she's mad at me because I'm turning it in late and I'm telling her like I have depression and I'm suffering and she's like womp womp. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she was weirdly nice to the to the charismatic dudes. Yeah, exactly. Angry, anger management class and grid and that fixed me. Yeah, I, B man, I, I did realize I was fucked up and I tried to get help. I also was on an SSRI for a little bit, but they got me to such a high dose on the SSRI that it, I like overdosed on it. Um, obviously not like die, but like to the, to the extent that like I had terrible, terrible, terrible symptoms. My pupils were overly dilated for like over eight hours. I had no like, depth perception because my pupils were super dilated so like i was like unable to walk properly um so i like i wasn't able to go to school that day and then i quit my ssri as cold turkey because of that on vibin yeah that's what happened with the ssris i double dosed on accident because i took them at night and then i took them in the morning because the psychiatrist had told me to experiment with taking them at night or in the morning depending on if it fucked with my sleep and I forgot that I had taken it at night the night before and took it in the morning. Went on a trip and forgot my meds and I had horrible chills and insane mood swings during the week. Yeah. Yeah, meds are their own issue in and of themselves, unfortunately. But like after that is crazy, yeah. That's fair. Yeah, I um I 
Nashville just overnight and got fixed. Yeah. What was I? What, what was? Yeah. My English teacher I had problems with. My. I had like some issues with one of my computer teachers because he was like. His class was essentially a gifted class. Um. And I was like really good at it, but like he he would like overload us with like homework and stuff, and I was already struggling with other shit. And so like I would break down crying multiple times in like private like meetings with him. So like I didn't I really liked him, but overall there was like a negative experience. Um but my English teacher I fucking hated. My history teacher, I was cool with. I, I like, understood him on, like, a, like, man-to-man -man level or whatever, I guess. Like, a person-to-person -person level. Um, my math teacher, I had problems with, and I liked him, but he didn't like me, which was a weird one. And then my... Um, And then my, my social, or my, my study hall guy, I, I fucking despised. And unfortunately, um, my study hall teacher, like, they would ro rotate, you would rotate all your different teachers, basically, right, in high school, because, like, you'd have one history class, then you'd have a different history class the next year, so you'd have another different teacher who taught that course. But since study hall was the same, like, nothing class, they just made you stick with the same teacher for all three or all four years. And so I immediately didn't like him from the first year. And then I had to still like be in his class for three, for three full more years, which sucked so bad. And then I had one really bad problem with one of my band teachers. And I, I, to this day think I got him fired. I don't know if I did. I have no confirmation on that, but I think I did. Which, like, if I did, I'm only happy about it because he fucking sucked. But 7th to 8th grade math teacher loved me, but I fucking hated him. Yeah. See, it's 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 a weirder dynamic. I I feel like it makes sense for teachers to like a student and the student not to like them, but I it's a completely different dynamic. I feel like for a student to like the teacher and the teacher not like them. He was so annoying. He had this thing where you couldn't access an assignment until he graded the previous assignment. I had excused leave for the first semester of eighth grade. So when I came back, I immediately started failing because he made me do all of the old work before I could do the new stuff. Yeah. What of Shoji? Study halls, but we have different teachers every year. Yeah. I'm very good at writing emails, so I eventually got that fixed and ended up getting a, like 94 in the class with two assignments during the whole semester. That's crazy. Fired is so funny to me. Like, Lamau, a 12-year-old fucked up your career. Yeah. I mean, it is a highly stressful job where people are completely underpaid for sure, but yeah, come from work. How are you? I'm pretty good. My, so my, it was a band teacher and what happened was, you see what had happened was, there's a lot to the story to unpack. So I'll start from the beginning. I won't go too into detail on like the whole thing, but there is a little bit of backstory that like, kind of tells the story a little bit which is where i'm from our band teacher stays our band teacher all the way from sixth grade until 12th grade so basically my first year i had the same band teacher that my brother had who's eight years older than me so i already knew who he was and i really liked him Speaking of which, I think my band teacher didn't like me very much either. Um, even though I, I really liked him. Um, because, like, I kind of looked up to this guy because he's super talented and really cool. Um, and overall, like, charismatic and funny guy. Um, and I'd known him for, like, eight years before I got into uh, band because of my brother. 
And so anyway, when I got into band, I had him and then one other teacher, right? So there's like a main teacher and like an assistant teacher basically is the way band worked. And then the assistant teacher moved to another school. And so a different teacher came in to fill that position. Um, and then I had those two teachers all the way from seventh grade until 11th grade. But because our school was so big and the band was so massive, like so many kids were in band, like an astronaut, there was no cap on how many people could be in band. So the, the amount of people in band was becoming like astronomical. And because they were responsible for six, seventh, eighth, ninth, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade band members, six full years worth of kids, they were like, this is too much for two teachers. We need a third teacher. And so in my 11th grade year, they brought on a third teacher. And this third teacher did not fit the vibe at all. Like, when I tell you that, like, my main band director and my and the second band director were, like, harsh on us when we were in marching band and stuff, but, like, um, empathetic. Um, like, they'd be hard on us, but not, like, unreasonably hard. They wouldn't be, like, cruel and unusual. This new guy was cruel and unusual. <laughs> um, like, during marching band season, he would, like, he would like w march next to us and like hover us and like be really like weirdly close and like like hovering our shoulder to like get mad at us if we like misstepped like an inch or whatever like he was like drill sergeant level of like you know and he had no right to be like he wasn't that good at like what he did it didn't make sense for him to even be that good so it wasn't even like like you couldn't even respect that he was that drill sergeanty because he wasn't like you know, God's gift to earth or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, and that was the big difference too. Like uh, why, the, why the backstory is necessary is because like we had built up respect and like, um, understanding with the two band directors we already had. So this third director just coming in and immediately like acting like this without having ever built any kind of like respect or report with us was like completely like it didn't make any sense. And then he would do like weird, cruel, unusual punishments, like seemingly behind the other two band directors backs. Like he would single us out if we like did something wrong. Like if he heard you play a note wrong, he would cut off the entire thing and he would like single out the person that he heard play the wrong note and he'd be like, play it again. And so it's like one person in front of a hundred people and they're like, they have to play this thing by themselves now out of nowhere. And then, like, he makes them redo it, like, five, six times in front of everybody. And, like, just absolutely embarrassing people for no good fucking reason. Like, like being really shit. Like, we have we had had a great band, and we had high-performing bands, and we did really good. Like, we won marching band competitions all the fucking time uh, way before this guy ever stepped in. So for this guy to step in and, like, be so harsh as if, like, we needed him to be for some reason, like... Like, if we weren't perfect, it was all over for no good reason. It, it made no sense. And I was already fed up with him by, like, halfway through the year because of, like, the, like, multiple months of, like, marching band season and then, like, going into, like, second semester or whatever. And then finally what happened was I had braces in my junior year of high school. And so I had braces and, like, pretty bad, like, shoulder pain and stuff and so like i would i would slouch pretty bad um and like this guy was anti-slouch like if you slouch at all he would call off the entire like band single you out and be like sit up um uh, and he did this a lot and um i was i always was, was like if he ever does this to me like there's gonna be fucking problems because i have an overbite already i play trombone and i have an overbite already and i'm tall so like i had a, i had a couple different issues one of which was like because of my underbite like you're supposed to play the trombone like this it's supposed to be straightforward up right and if you if you have your teeth like this it'd be like this right but if you have an underbite like this suddenly the mouthpiece is angled slightly downward 
So already there was a problem where like he didn't want your trombone to be down. He wanted it to be forward, right? And he wanted you to sit up straight. So you had to sit up straight and have the trombone forward. But like, I was kind of like, well, I kind of have to compromise on this. I, I can either have the trombone forward by slouching down. If I slouch down, then my, I can hold my trombone up forward, right? Because it's, it's slightly down. So if I slouch backwards, then I can get it straight up, right? Or I can have it like facing down. And what I thought, what I'm like in my mind, I was like, it's more obvious that my trombone is facing down than it is if I'm slouching. So I would slouch and get my trombone up. Um, and so he at some point finally realized I was slouching and like it took him like months to realize it. And then he called off the band practice and he told me specifically to sit up. And I, it pissed me off so bad. I just like, I just like stared at him in disbelief. Like, I cannot believe you're doing this right now. Like, the, it is insane that you are doing this right now. Like, you called off everyone's practice to call me out for like slouching. Insane. Uh, Anyaki, it's fine. Just don't think about it like that. It's it's really not a problem. <laughs> Context matters. Um. Then back so you can crack my skull. Yeah, well, they can fuck themselves, so. LSF is a bunch of losers. Um, and I still have all my wisdom teeth. They never came in, and they probably never will, and I probably am going to have to get them out at some point, but I'm scared of surgery, so I'm... Haha. <laughs> um... Yeah, I have all four of them. They just never grew in. They're just kind of they're just kind of in there. As far as I know, they are fully grown in and they will never grow anymore. So I don't have to worry about them like breaking my back teeth or anything like other people have to worry about. Um but if I ever want to get them out, there is because they're fully grown, they're really close to the nerve, so they'd be like dangerous to get out at this point. But they still say I should get them out, so I, uh, it scares me. It scares the fuck out of me. Because the problem is if they take them out and they fuck up and they, like, sever the nerve, then I will lose all feeling in one side of my face. And I do not want to do that. So. Um. I play trumpet, yeah. Um. And no, I still have an overbite. Did I say underbite? I have an overbite. I meant overbite. I don't have an underbite. I meant overbite. I meant overbite. That was my bad. Because my teeth go over the top of my other teeth. Yeah, overbite is super common. Most people have at least some bit of overbite. So I'd have surgery too. It wasn't that bad. Surgery scary. Yeah, surgery super scary. So an overbite is, yeah, overbite is when your top teeth go over your bottom teeth. And an underbite is when your under teeth, when your top teeth go under your bottom teeth. Which is very hard. Most people don't have that. But most people have their top teeth go over their bottom teeth. I think the majority of people, like what the dentist said they aim for is like a, like a 10% overbite or your teeth only go over by like a little bit but I have a 100% overbite which means my bottom teeth are completely covered by my top teeth and the reason I have a 100% overbite is because my back teeth when they clench together in order for them to touch I have to go all the way over if I go like this you can see there's a gap. They aren't touching in the back, so. Yeah, that's why I have an overbite. Anyway, that led to me getting into shit with my that new band director. And long story short, um, I stared at him. I was in disbelief. I was like, I can't I was so pissed. I was like, I can't believe you're singling me out right now. 
to like you're calling off the whole band to single me out to basically embarrass me over something that is a non-issue um that you're turning into like a way bigger issue than it needs to be um even at the end of the day like if he noticed i was slouching he could have made a mental note and like told me after class like hey you know it's better for your airways for you to sit up straight so i'd like you to sit up straight and then i could told him well like the problem is like the trombone thing and then he could have been like okay well this that or the other thing you know he could have actually had a conversation with me is what i'm getting at instead of like yelling at me like a dickhead and singling me out and embarrassing me for no reason and so um he basically said either sit up or get out of my class and i was like oh you're gonna give me an ultimatum I'm going to get the fuck out of your class then. And so I got up, I put my trombone down and I walked out of the room and he was like, uh, what the fuck? I, cause he was like, I didn't, I, when I give an ultimatum, I expect them to just do what I want because I'm, I'm intimidating and an asshole. Surely they'll just do what I want. And I didn't, I left. I was like, fuck you. Um, I like very angrily put my trombone down on the chair and was like, okay. And I walked out of the room and I walked up and down the hall for like, a couple minutes because or he said he specifically said if you you can either sit up or you can go to the principal's office is what he specifically said and so i went out in the hall and i like angrily walked up and down and i got a little upset because I was like what did i just do i'm so upset with myself that i like just did this but also like i'm here now so i went up to the principal's office and I, I walk in and I look at the secretary and I go, hi, um, I was just in band class and I was told to come to the principal's office. I've never been here before. I don't really know what to do. Holy crap. <laughs> Moose and Nomi, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in everyone. Boar raid? Like your carton. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What does this mean? <laughs> Welcome in, everyone. How's it going? This is this is like an in joke. I don't understand. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Void googling it. You may learn new things. I have I have I have a couple. I have a couple ideas as to what it could mean. We are the Muzu Army. <laughs> Watch out. Um, welcome in Muzu thank you so much for the raid I really appreciate it everyone thank you for the follows um, Destroyer Arl Real Pyro uh, Royal Knight thank you for the follows I appreciate it um, fix the bed what's wrong what is wrong with my bed what's wrong with my bed it's fine it's fine it is okay Oh, are you talking about you guys? Are you talking about this? Are you talking about the Zelda thing? Surely you're talking about that. Surely we're talking about that. Okay, that's what we're talking about. Thank you. Yes, the Zelda. Thank you. Yes, I love Zelda. I'm a big Zelda nerd. Um, the bed's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I like your curtain. Also, fix thy bed. There, <laughs> it's fixed. <laughs> um we were just talking about um how i think i accidentally got my band teacher fired when i was a junior in high school respect yourself and others will respect you ah ah i used to not make my bed at all i used to not even do this and then people would give me shit and I was like, I don't want my bed in the back. I don't even want it there. I, w I wish I was a green screen streamer so I didn't have to have the background in the or the, the bed in the background. I'm like, don't comment. People will comment on the laundry. They'll be like, do your laundry. I'm like, shut up. Shut up. I have problems with my brain. I can't. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I have brain problems. I just got on new ADHD meds. Hopefully they'll uh, they'll get me to fix my Say bed more often. Say hi to Muzu, the lady to eat sand, and is small like a gerbil. <laughs> hi to Muzu. Hello. 
Hello. Muzu, you are you are VTuber? I'm gonna throw you a follow real quick. Is VTubing fun? The old place was worse. Oh yeah. Fan teacher fired. Said tube sounds are happy trumpet. Um see their recent videos. <laughs> uh uh, I just followed. I'll have to check them out. Yeah. I, I played trombone in high school. Um, and, uh, yeah. Her? Okay, my bad. Um, yeah, so, yeah, basically, the the long story short, though, is Teacher basically said, sit up straight or go to the principal's office. And I walked out of the class and I went to the principal's office and I was like a straight A kid that never got in trouble. Yo. And I was like, hey, I don't know exactly why I'm here. I was told to come to the principal's office. And I, I walked into the principal's office and the principal looked at my grades and my like permanent record and saw that I had never been in trouble and saw that I'd never like had any kind of infractions or whatever. And, ba and I explained to him, I basically was like, yeah, I, I kind of think this teacher sucks. He's kind of a big asshole. I don't like him. He makes fun of students and he like singles people out and make them feel bad. And it's like cruel and unusual punishment, uh, in my opinion. And then he wasn't there the next year. So, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I got him fired, but that, that's what happened. But yeah, thank you so much for the raid. I, I really appreciate it. Dequite, thank you for the bit. I appreciate it. Um... You guys missed like a, a lot of the story, but the, the majority of the story was basically I was in band from 6th grade to 11th grade, and I had the same two band directors me, for most of it. They call it oven and then they brought in a third one, and then he was gone a year after I food. didn't Honestly, like him. that's a classic brain twister right there. It's like that moment when you realize the merch guy was hiding just behind you the whole time. I guess language can be as confusing as trying to explain why my cats sometimes act like total goofballs. But hey, at least they don't chew loudly while I'm trying to think. Yeah, I did. I did mistake overbite and underbite. Could have been a pattern. Heard similar things from other kids. Yeah, probably there were probably a lot of reports on him being like an asshole because he was he was a total asshole. Um, Nick is closet asked me, on a scale of one to ten, how behind me is merch guy? Honestly, I'd say a solid 11. He's always lurking, just waiting for the right moment to pop out and cause a scene. But hey, I've been saying that. You never know when he's going to jump in and make things chaotic. Just keep an eye out. All right. Rich guy's a weirdo, man. I don't talk to him anymore. Kind of like how I don't talk to Alex. Maybe you didn't direct... Yeah. Yeah, I, I I would dare to say that there were probably a lot of students that like made reports about um the teacher being like an asshole who like didn't respect his students. Do I still have Alex? I do. Hold on, do I turn on the green screen? Do we do we bring Alex back real quick? You don't like Alex? Nakis Closet asked me, is Merch Guy a goon god or an edge emperor? Honestly, oh, come I think on. Merch Guy is the ultimate goon god. Oh, God. Always lurking, ready to drop chaos when you least expect it. Don't say that. But hey, he's got his own. He's not a gooner, dude. Too, especially when he pops out just to mess with us. It's a fine balance, really. But I've been saying that he's right behind me, isn't he?
There he is. He's gooning right behind me, isn't he? It's so obvious that he's not me. This is also awkward because the background is so weirdly framed now because I'm using a wider angle lens than I used to. Take it again. That's fine. Go blonde. <laughs> it's not you, it's me. Alex. I fully thought you were going to put Alex and almost clicked off. Pet Alex? Oh, no. Come on. I wouldn't pet a gooner. That's crazy. That's crazy. What lens am I using now? It is... um. Eighteen millimeter, eighteen millimeter, two point four, I think. Anakis Closet asked me, "Who is a better Gooner Edge guy or Goonex?" Honestly, I'd say they're both pretty solid in their own chaotic ways. Don't answer Edge that guy fucking has that question. Vibe that keeps everyone on their toes while Goonex brings the unpredictable energy. But hey, they both pop up to Goon at the Why is he answering times, that question, bro? That. Just remember if either one shows up behind me, it's about to get wild. That's crazy. Sony, it's a Sony. No, it's um, it might be Rokinon. My, I know my twenty-four millimeter lens is a Rokinon, which is the other one I was using, which is also a. It's a twenty-four millimeter two point four. I think this one is eighteen two point four, maybe also Rokinon, but I don't think it is. Let me double check real quick. Naki's Closet asked me, how do I make ranchless spaghetti tacos? Just swap out the ranch for some classic marinara sauce. Oh, I think it's, it's 16 millimeter, actually. Blend. Cook your spaghetti, then stuff it into taco shells and top with the sauce of your choice. 16 two point. Add some cheese and four. whatever toppings you like, like chopped veggies or herbs. Boom. Ranchless. Spaghetti, tacos. You'll still get that tasty combo without the ranch. Who ah. it, right? Uh it's a no, it is a it's a Sony. It's a sixteen millimeter two point eight Sony. Yeah. The other one is a Rokinon two point or twenty four two point eight. Give me the 10 bits in Yaki.
season are we on now? Uh, season seven, I think. Uh, what camera and lens, Nick? Brandon Excellent asked me, what, what is the best way to outsmart and defeat an army of xenomorphs? To outsmart and defeat an army of xenomorphs, you'd want to leverage their Yo. weaknesses. Bedmoss, Use thank you for the follow. and set up ambushes in narrow Welcome corridors the where their numbers become a disadvantage. How's it going? It's going. Fire and flamethrowers are effective weapons against them as they can't handle extreme heat. Distract them with loud noises or bait. Then strike when they're vulnerable. And remember, always stay in the shadows. You never know when merch guy might pop up behind you. Uh, we're just hanging out. We're chilling. Ace, uh, the A6700 and 16 to 50, 3.5 to 5.6. Inakis Closet okay, yeah. asked me, how can I use the movie Alien to talk 6, about... 6700 is a really society. good camera, though. You can use Alien as a metaphor the for 16 to 50 is, uh, discussing the themes kit lens, like yeah. isolation, corporate greed, and the fear of the unknown. The crew's struggle against the xenomorph can parallel how individuals face challenges from powerful corporations or societal pressures. The movie's atmosphere of dread reflects the anxiety many feel about the future. Plus, you can dive into the role of technology and how it can either protect or endanger us, just like the ship systems did. What do you think? Is cereal a salad or a soup? I think it's a soup because it's mostly liquid, right? Yeah, I feel like it's definitely a soup. Bought the new, uh, normally, yeah, but I bought the new release of the 1650 by itself because it's the Mark II for it. Oh, interesting. I didn't know they did that. Messed up today. Oh. Ow. Chunky smoothie it makes sense, actually. create a save point my college IT department will help oh uh oh good luck good luck that is a oopsie whoopsie I'm s I don't know if this will work. Hope it does. Feel so dumb. Yeah. No, I feel that. Uh I've made some big oopsies like that myself, to be honest. So it happens to everybody, honestly. I need to get a new job because I have an accommodation at work to buy some Sony lenses at a pretty good discount. Like, you need to get a new job so you're not tempted to keep buying Sony stuff. <laughs> no, I need to get a new job so I can afford it. Oh. <laughs> get have two jobs one with a discount and another one for extra money to use the discount
Spider-Man, but he's played by Jack Nicholson. Oh, my God. Dude. What what does a middle-aged Spider-Man even look like, you know? I say middle-aged. Jack Nicholson is 87 years old, I think. At this point, isn't he? to feed the addiction. Toby McGuire. Mostly just trying to get a job in a career that I actually want and keep Best Buy as a side thing for the discount while I stay seasonal. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. I applied for and have an interview at Domino's right now, uh, this week, so... I feel you... And that is definitely not my career move. Good luck in the interview. Yeah, I applied to be a general manager and I don't necessarily have any like, I have relevant experience, but I'm not, I don't necessarily have like the whatever for it. So we'll see what happens. What games do I like? Um, for the longest time, I was a big Minecraft guy. Brandon Excellent asked me, may sound very silly and fantasy-like, but what would you do if someone blew you up with an air pump like they did in the cartoons? Oh my god. Honestly, I'd probably just roll with it and float around like a balloon for a bit. Just make sure merch guy isn't around, or he might take that as a cue to pop me. Ooh. That would be chaos. And I'd keep saying that. He would keep saying that, to be fair. He would he would keep saying that. Um Yeah, I I personally am a big vanilla guy. I like vanilla Minecraft the most, but I one of the reasons why I like Minecraft so much is because it's so versatile. Like, you can do so much with it. Um you can do so much in vanilla, but you can do so much in, in mods and stuff too. Um I played a lot of Siege in my day. Um, I have... Oh my god, Ash is here. Let's go. What up, hi, Cash? Uh, let's see. Let's see here. I don't think I can... Can I sort by most played on Steam? I think there's a way to, right? How do I... There it is, okay. Yeah, I have, um, you're nine days already, and no, time flies. Um, I play, I have over 3,000 hours on Siege. Uh, I was playing a lot of Elden Ring for a while. I've got t over 250 hours in Elden Ring. Yo, yo, who are you? Yo, who's that? Yo, who the hell are you? Uh, I really like Neon White, but I finished that game. I com fully completed that. Uh, yeah, I did a DLC marathon where I streamed the DLC until I beat it from start to finish. Um, it took me, I think, about five days total. I think it was three days to explore like all the DLC and then like two days to beat uh, the final boss. Uh, and yeah, it was, it was very difficult. Uh, I think I died somewhere in the ballpark of 600 to 700 times. 250 of them were to the final boss. Most of it was, like, difficult, but not, like, overly difficult. It was just the final boss that was, like, five times harder than any, any other boss in the entire DLC. They're putting me in the skinny machine today. Happy birthday, Chance! Happy birthday! Get the stacks back on. It. If you believe it, it's been almost three months since we played Siege. June was the last time I launched Siege. Yeah. Um Siege, but it's Quidditch. Bro. 
Bro. Um, I've got a couple hundred hours on Tarkov. I've been playing a lot of Tarkov recently. I have 220 hours on Tarkov. I played a little bit of CS2 and Valorant in my day. I've got 180 hours on Counter-Strike. I probably have like three... I probably have... I probably have like 600 hours on Valorant, Brandon actually. Yeah. Asked me part two. After floating around for a bit, how would you I'm look it up. Honestly, I'd just find a sharp object, maybe a pen or a cat claw, if one of those goofballs decided to make an appearance. Just pop and let the chaos unfold. Can you imagine merch guy lurking around? He'd probably love it. I've been saying that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I feel that. Um, I have 124 hours of competitive. Let's see, 124 hours of comp, 220 hours of unrated, 186 hours of spy crush. So that's like 400, 520. I've got about 520 hours on... 550. Yeah, I got about 600 hours on, on Valorant. What's up, my merch guy? He's just merch guy, dude. He's chilling. He's a merch guy, man. Target would be a good TV show. Yeah. Play the Lego games. Not in a long time. I haven't played any Lego games in a long time. I know people are huge fans of... Um... The Lego games. I am not as huge a fan of them personally, but I respect them a lot. I had a lot of fun playing them when I was a kid. Um, I don't remember what Lego games I played though as a kid. What were some of the earlier ones? I had one for like the Wii, but I don't remember which one it was. I, I'm sure it was like a Star Wars one or Indiana Jones maybe. Or a Harry Potter one, maybe. Kid game marathon could go crazy. You have a point. Also, like, browser game marathon. Like, playing a, a bunch of, like, the browser games from, like, the early 2000s, 2010s. Star Wars 1, 2, The Complete Saga, and Indiana Jones were some of the first. Lego Batman was also early. Yeah. Cartoon Network website. Oh, yeah. Do they, they don't have any of the games on Cartoon Network anymore, do they? Are there any, like, backups? Do people have the backups anywhere? You remember the, yeah, the Summer Resort game? You remember the Cartoon Network Summer Resort game? Almost like every Lego game so I can play them with my girlfriend at some point. Yeah. Easy to max the streaming service. Oh, that's annoying. Like Rock Band, I was a big Guitar Hero kid. I really liked Guitar Hero. I had Guitar Hero 2, Guitar Hero 3, and Guitar Hero World Tour. I never was a Rock Band kid, but that's because I, as a kid, I had brand loyalty to Guitar Hero. I was like, they did it first. Guitar Hero did it first. I didn't like Rock Band because Guitar Hero did it first. Uh, as I got older, I was like, I don't, that doesn't make sense. I don't care. They're both good games. If Clone Hero wasn't a DMCA nightmare, I'd say we should play together. Clone Hero is awesome, yeah. I mean, it's not a DMCA nightmare necessarily if you just put it on the VOD track. Like, I can play it, it just won't be like, it just won't make sense on VOD. 
or clips. It'll just be silent, no music. Older than MySpace and the iPhone, the original iPhone, yeah. Uh, same, same. Do you ever wish that newer movies and shows were released on VHS for some odd reason? Wish is now a reality. What? Why? Why? That doesn't even make sense. VHS tapes are... Tape is like inherently a terrible medium for <laughs> media. Younger than YouTube? YouTube came out in 2005. Originally, I think. Like, Blu-ray... Physical media is cool, but, like, tape is inherently awful. They get moldy, they get corrupted easily. Every time they, they're played, they degrade. Old man certified unk status? Alright, bro. That's true. But we don't have to say it out loud. <laughs> you have the Ohio Riz. If you're older than YouTube, you can't be saying that shit. Hey, Bed Monster, hey. I'm sorry, but if you're older than YouTube, you cannot be saying that shit. <laughs> Being an unk in an Ohio Riz world. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Zach and I are practically the same age, yeah. Ohio is, dude, whatever happened to Livy Dunn and Baby Gronk? I heard those words and I didn't know what they meant. And then I found out that Livy Dunn is a famous gymnast and Baby Gronk is the name of a person. Like there is an influencer named Baby Gronk. 24, yeah, I'm 26. I forgot for a second. The little collectibles. Yeah, that's fair, Brandon. It's the iPad kids, yeah. Baby Gronk has been hitting on Hawk Tua. Cock Tua. Recently, I hear. God. And there was only one Gronk. You guys remember this? This shit went crazy. The cartoon, the cartoon, cartoon summer resort on Cartoon Network. I'm starting to like Hawk Tua finally because it's getting into that like post or it's getting into that like ironic stage where it's like it's funny because everyone acknowledges how unfunny it is. And so they're saying it because it's so unfunny that it's funny. But I also did. I hated it up until just recently. Honk Tula. Like, hold on. I, I'll, I gotta go find, like, some of the, um... I gotta go find some of the, uh, things. Some of the things. I gotta find some of the things. Hold on. Some of the tweets I've seen are funny. Meme era, yeah. Hawk Tua is trending right now on Twitter. I, I like it it's it's just getting to that point where it's so it's so stupid 
Gangnam Style, yeah. Soviet Anthem, I soundboard for a while. Um, Baby Gronk minus 10k or a hawk to a Grimace Shake Among Us at 3 a.m. Demure is the one. I also don't like the Demure one. The Demure one also pisses me off. I'm so not with it. I just don't get it. I'm just not with it, dude. Gen Z brain rot starts on Stan Twitter. Uh, yeah. It all just comes back to this, man. It all really just comes back to this when you think about it. When you think about it, it really just comes back to this. Yeah, we always had brain rot. It just, it wasn't like, the brain rot was like an, a niche thing before you had to go looking for the brain rot, right? Like you, it was a niche thing and you would go look for it and you would laugh at the brain rot and it was like in its own compartment and you'd open the compartment and you'd laugh at the brain rot and then you put it away. But now it has become so saturated and so like all over the place that you can't look left without feeling like your brain is falling out of your skull. Like, we live in, like, a post-ironic society where, like, you, just everything is always a meme. No, nothing is serious ever. Most Gen Z thing I've done is unironically love the Instagram page, Political Compass, and it being my favorite page. <laughs> everything right in the world. What the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to turn the audio on, dude. Don't. Don't make me do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Please. Falling asleep on stream accidentally. One time. God damn it. I fuck you. <laughs> Um, fuck, I want to see, dude, there was such, there was a good tweet, there was a good tweet I saw, and I don't remember who put it, um, god damn it, I don't know, none of them are funny, but still still good tweets well political science major Dude, if someone came up to you and said the mirror grim is ohio sigma toilet yeah baka per i would tell them that school is still in session and their second grade teacher is probably going to get very mad at them for being out of school at a time like this. Because I only assume a second grader would say something like that to me. Okay, unironically, I was doing DoorDash yesterday. And I was shopping at Walgreens and I heard some teenagers walk in. And they were giggling really loudly to themselves so I could like overhear everything they were saying. And like I, I was in line checking out and they like came out to the checkout line and they were talking and I heard them say um Did it hurt when you fell from the battle bus? They didn't say this to me, but I heard them saying it and I was like Fortnite. <laughs> Pumped up kicks is funny because of the fact that it's played in schools and teachers don't seem to listen. Yeah. Dude, pumped up kicks was... When I was in high school, I remember we were like, 
Yo, it's crazy what this song is actually about when you listen to it. What up, Ken? Fortnite. Yeah, exactly. Go back to class, dog. Like, I, I just, I can't imagine anyone would unironically say that in real life to another human being that they don't know. Unless they are a high schooler. And, like, I, I have no hate. Do your thing. It's funny. Like, you got, I had my memes that were cringe. You have your memes that are cringe. It's chill. But, like... What the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> Came back to class day one. Oh my god. You know, I went to a... You guys know what Bucky's is? That Instagram picture you sent? Anyaki, I just saw a picture of the Bucky statue. You know, I had no idea what Bucky's was until, like, this summer. I had no idea that it was a thing. I still don't really understand why it's a thing. Apparently, there's a ton of them in Texas. Bucky's burned down about 2015. Is that a 2015 thing? Miss Russell, my Jimmy's. Uh, oh my god! One of my professors seems to want us to learn Python. Python's a good language to learn. It's, it's an easy one too. It's easy and useful. Python at all, and I think we're gonna have to teach ourselves. It's not hard. The Bucky's, it's a religious experience. Come visit me, we'll go to Bucky's. The biggest one in Texas is like 40 minutes from me. I went to a Bucky's, so that's how I learned what Bucky's was. I went to a Bucky's. And, um, yeah. That was, it was a, it was a thing that I experienced. Quite frankly, I didn't understand it. But it's okay. I didn't get the hype. I hate to say it, I did not get the hype. Stan Twitter, TikTok, Brain Rat, Reddit, Python. Nope. You can go back, but he does a road trip, must. We always stop on the way to or from Dallas. Yeah, that's what we did. We were on a road trip. That was why we, we stopped there. Bucky's is known to have some of the best restrooms ever. It's like you're tooting in heaven, and it's known to be true. Yeah, that that was what I was told. I was told the bathrooms are crazy, and I went in the bathroom, and I was like, yeah. It's a big, clean bathroom, and the, like, the urinals have, like, brick walls from, like, floor to ceiling between them. So I was like, that's cool. And they sell art in them for some reason. I have basic coding knowledge. You know what else and if means. <laughs> Any fun Labor Day plans? Um, nope. Mm, nope. I ain't got no Labor Day plans. In fact, I didn't even really realize Labor Day was coming up, to be honest. Kaloshes when you went? No. No, I got a pulled pork sandwich. Business in peace. Um, Labor Day is 
always the first Monday of September, and it is to honor the American labor movement and the works and contributions of laborers to the development of the United States. Yeah, I've seen this video. I love this video. I'm gonna use the restroom. I force you guys to watch this. Why do you suppose I just gooned in your cave, Neiman? I, I don't know. Sure you do. My yacht? Were you edging or were you gooning? I, I don't know. Start mogging. Like dum, baby dum, Gronk, yeah. damn it! Look at me. Mog, 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 mog. Now, mog. was I edging or was I gooning? I don't know. Mog again. Mog, 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 mog. Edging or gooning? Edging. So you do edge in Ohio. If you deliberately end your mewing streak, I will riz you like Livy Dunn. Now, are you an edger or are you a gooner? Or are you going to phantom tax skibbity toilet? Oh, phantom tax skibbity toilet. What does that say? CG5 only in Ohio? Sing me some CG5. Only in Ohio. Oh, oh my freaking yacht. I didn't know they allowed Duke Dennis into Ohio. Am I to understand that you do not watch Kai Sinat? Can you even riz up baby Gronk? What is that? Skibbity? Yes, what is that? Patrick Bateman? Tell me about your motion. I was never book smart, I'm money smart. Make what are you, a skibbity toilet? Sing it correctly! I was never book smart, I'm money smart. Make me more and tell them more and tell. Now answer my question. Were you edging or were you gooning? Answer! Gooning? Oh my dear God. Are you one of those Ryan Gosling Sigmas? Do I look like OG Fortnite to you? You must have O-Riz. Do you have O-Riz? No? No? So you just don't have any Riz at all? I do have W-Riz. So are you the Rizzler? Yes or freaking no? Yes. You are the Rizzler? Yeah. Say it. I'm the Rizzler. Say it so I show speed can hear you. <laughs> I'm the Rizzler. Nuh-uh. I'm the Rizzler. Nuh-uh! I'm the Rizzler! You are a dualist, Rizzless little piece of gat whose mommy left daddy when she figured out he didn't play OG Fortnite. Okay, OG Fortnite goes crazy. And looks maxing all over my grimace shake like a freaking skibbity toilet. So for the final amazing time, no, nah, I'm the Rizzler. <laughs> Start edging longer, Neiman. The Squidward noise gets me every time. <laughs> Is it possible to tell the entire material? No, message? it's not. I heard my own voice and I didn't like it. I was in this picture and I didn't like it. You were speaking fast. Yeah, you guys want to watch it? All right, we'll watch it. Story in only 60 seconds. First, we wait out the tutorial three day cycle to get your ocarina back. I made this a year time. ago. First temple in the woods. Here you face Odawa to get the Deku princess back so her dad stops trying to kill monkeys or whatever. The second temple is in the ice mountains where I needed to learn the Goron's lullaby to put this annoying baby in the guard to sleep. Then you face Goat. Meet Epona, learn her song, and use her approximately two times. The third temple is at the sea. Once inside, you listen to this guy's last song, steal his skin like some kind of serial killer psychopath then roleplay as a walking corpse around his friends and family, then face Guyard. To get to the final temple, I first had to suspiciously acquire this mask from the guy near the ranch. Huh, whatever, I'm sure there's no lore implications to this. On the way to the fourth temple, we stop at Akana Castle to learn the Ben Drowns song, then face Twin Mold. Lastly, we go to the moon, hand all the masks to the kids to get the Fierce Deity mask, and then sweep the Majora's Mask incarnations. After all this, I found out I still like Ocarina of Time better, but the story is phenomenal and uncharacteristically deep for a Zelda game. We can let petty battles tear our lives apart or we can embrace our relationships and forgive our friends yay majora's mask in one minute um i want to play games but like i don't have the motivation to play any then you don't want to play games man that's okay the bird lore what are you talking about hey what are you talking about Hey, what are you talking about?
Hey, what do you mean? Hey, what do you mean by that? True, true. Yeah, go subscribe to the BODS channel. I need to get to 500 subscribers. Do you know the way? Yo, Ken, are you still here? I'm gonna talk about being cooked. Do not come. Do not come. Um, be 100% for real. Am I a better chatter than when I started? Like, W chatter or like L comedy? Uh, yeah. W chat. I don't know what I'm going to do with my time and life after the end of September with JJK's manga ending. It's fair. Are you afraid of the dice? One Piece, yeah. Inaka's closet asked me. Monthly if you MHA is already over, yeah. Dice, you will never throw a. Dude, six. MHA is ending's ass. Yeah, but if you're not careful, you might just roll a one and ruin the whole game. And I've been saying that. Just remember, merch guy might be lurking, ready to mess with your roll at any moment. Yo, can be honest. Am I cooked? <laughs> Anyaki, do I have your permission to put this on Twitter with your username in it? I know you clarified that that's not true, but just like the message itself is so funny. Cool. You might be. <laughs> said it wasn't to make you feel better. <laughs> so let me pull out a VHS copy of Spider-Man 3 at Twilight. No way. Middle school, August 2018. Yeah, then I did start streaming when you were in elementary school because I was in... I started streaming in February 
I was not too back then. That's fucking crazy. I don't like getting older. Yeah, it gets worse. <laughs> I'll be honest. How far did you make it in One Piece? I watched the live action show. So however far that gets me, basically. Twenty two years, still no bitches. What the fuck is this? The obvious joke is stop calling them bitches. <laughs> Almost the end of the East Blue, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm not 100% certain. I think it's supposed to be like the first 48 episodes of the anime or something like that. What does one bring to class? I think you're supposed to have like a TI-84 calculator for some reason. And a pencil and a pen. And a notebook paper and probably an iPad. I think an iPad is relevant and works. I really want to be 30 and completely out of touch from modern media. Do the Gen Z equivalent of dancing with wine on TikTok. <laughs> what? That can't be. Brandon Excellent asked me, What if instead of having you use a sharp object to pop yourself, we were to simply just either pull your finger or have you guzzle a fizzy drink for more comedic effect. Honestly, I think guzzling a fizzy drink would be way more chaotic. Just imagine the bubbles building up and then pop. It's like instant chaos without needing a sharp object. Plus, merch guy might lurk closer, waiting for maximum mayhem. I've been saying that. I feel like 30 is like the perfect age to be potentially out of touch. It's like young enough... To not be guaranteed to be out of touch, but old enough that, like, you could have easily, like, spent the majority of your 20s, like, working on, like, your career and sh shit like that and be out of touch by that point, right? <laughs> no, no way. Not Seinfeld. It's not slide seven. I counted. I sent it on slide seven. Oh, I went seven past the first one. I accidentally said, I want a Red Bull and a cigarette around a pregnant woman at the pool. And she looked wistfully into the water and said to herself, Red Bull and a cigarette. <laughs> yeah. That's already me. That's like actually already me. But it's like, a beer. Retro handhelds. Um, they seem cool, but I have no reason to get one because, like, I can just emulate games on my phone. So I don't uh, know what the purpose is. Other than that, it's kind of cool, but I don't need to spend a couple hundred bucks on, like, a cool thing that I don't have money for. They seem cool, though. Like, if I had a bunch of, like, extra cash for no reason, I would definitely buy one just to have one for fun, but... 
from a from like a practical standpoint it doesn't make any sense Red Bull in a subathon oh I remember back in my day when I used to stream 12 hours a day. I've been here before. You have been here before. You've been here before. If you sell 137 cookies a day for $2 each, you can make $100,000 a year according to this page. That's... Uh, Let's pull up the chat logs. Send it to the chat logs. Pulling up the chat logs. Let's see. My defense has been a crazy few months. That's fair. All right. The last time you were here... It was November of 2023, so it's been almost a year, and you said a very nice thing. You said a very nice thing. You say, in case no one's told you lately, you matter, and I'm proud of you. It was very sweet of you. But what does it even matter if you don't even remember saying it? Did you even mean it? <laughs> it's for the bit, Naki. And it's been a chaotic year. <laughs> it has been a chaotic year. I'll give you that. It has been. I need to add an L or a W next to a nice thing, because otherwise it's Monka S. Yeah, you have to make it, like, slightly ironic, so that way, like, you can say what you truly mean, but you can say it without being completely genuine, so that way it doesn't somehow get misinterpreted as cringe. At least you can put the veil over it that it isn't cringe. <laughs> You're a W streamer and I batch us when you go live. Thanks for the bit. We don't need to dig deep in the psyche, but maybe we're afraid that being genuine is being cringe. And we live in an, an ironic world where anything other than irony is considered cringe. And to be our genuine selves is too much and we can't handle it. Stomach bug from the dog park. And a rescue no longer pay for the treatments. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. That is fucked up. That's super fucked up actually. I'm so sorry. He's fine, don't worry. He's almost done with antibiotics. Oh. Huge. What a roller coaster. <laughs> what a roller coaster. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm glad that he's okay. <laughs> Whew. We were so close to a terrible, terrible ending. <laughs> Oh. oh my god that's fucking crazy over a year old he's only seven months old yeah tiny shih tzu dude it's always the shih tzus that be eating shit they shouldn't be eating I swear what gives?
14 now. Mm-hmm. There's always the tiny dogs. They always be eating shit they shouldn't be eating. Well, I don't know what's up with that. Hospice like seven times in the life and feeling worse than ever. That's crazy. That is an insane. That's crazy. That's fucking insane. Getting end of life care seven times is insane. <laughs> that's that's wild. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> it's like not funny, but it's also extremely funny. Previous owners called them aggressive to other dogs, but this dude is startled by a dog barking in the distance. That's Hello. so weird. Hello? Thank you for the follow, Dory. I appreciate it. Pit mix puppy, but they're backyard breeders and he was left over. So weird. People are really, like, weird about certain dog breeds. And also, certain people just shouldn't own pets and they like decide to get a dog or something and then they realize very quickly within like the first couple of weeks like they should not have done that and then they give that animal up because they're like oh yeah sister's dog had terminal cancer and was scheduled to be put down but she slept in that day and that was in January and the dog is now cancer free despite not getting any cancer treatment because it was L budget friendly. What? Oh. Uh that -huh. thinks he's got some Boston Terrier in him too. His face screams it. That sounds like a cute puppy. Magically got cured. That doesn't make any sense. Now he's better than ever. How does it doesn't make any sense? What? What? We think he never had cancer? Well, yeah, probably. Just had a fungal infection? I feel like you have to be a really, really, really shitty vet to mistake a fungal infection for cancer, right? Also being ready to put them down that soon, like, over that seems pretty crazy to me. Samples came out as cancers, who knows? Love cured him, that's fucking crazy. Cancer off his body and lived for like eight years after that. What the fuck? Bro, Animal Kingdom going fucking crazy, they're like, oh shit, I have cancer. <laughs> All good. Humans get the cold. I think I am going to die. Cat gets cancer. Bites it off. I'm fine. Animals are fucking metal. Feed him like kibble by kibble direct in his mouth. He's suffering a lot. That's that is crazy though. To to just like become not like to have tested positive for cancer and then to suddenly be cancer free is fucking wild though. Um, uh, sister's dog ate a ton of chocolate, including 38 Halloween handout Whopper candies. 
Free chocolate, chocolate chip cookies, among other things. Survive for six more years, then pass to old age. Holy shit. The first dog immune to chocolate. It probably shed its brains out, actually, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Not to be gross, but... Um, accidentally backyard bred my dog because we used to take her on Cory play dates and one of her puppies is choking. Oh my god. Sister's boyfriend had to... Ah! And all puppies like, dude! I would never. I could never. I'm sorry. I'm... I'm such a fucking... I would panic and not know what to do. I would just... I could never... I'd be like, oh, well, I don't know what to do. It was a Chiwini. Can't confirm. It's always the small dogs. It's always the fucking small dogs. Steve Brownies, when he was a youth, bro, loved them. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? That's not, that's not good. <laughs> That's not good. I'll say it. I'll say it. That's not good. <laughs> That's bad even. I'll say it. Follow Weenie Dog Mix. That sounds cute though. Corys are really easy to find homes for. Corys are cute. I'm not a dog person, but I like small dogs. But I don't like... I specifically don't like rat terriers. And I don't like um, the fluffy white dogs. Those are like the two I don't like. But I like like corgis and wiener dogs and stuff. He hated my one friend in elementary. After like eight years of not seeing him, my friend visited my house. Should still remember it. What? Many times. Dude, the, the crusty white dogs live so long too. Congenital heart disease. She got sick every time she ate shit. She wasn't supposed to, but it never killed her. That's crazy. Should we say we get pics of Turbo? Oh yeah. What the frick? Where's the turbo pictures? Turbo is Joey's corgi. Have a good night, Wigfoot. Most annoying small dogs are papillons. I gotta look that up. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, absolutely, they are the most annoying small dog. Read their Corey with my Corey because she's the only one who isn't related to the rest. That's fucked. Yeah, chihuahuas, chihuahuas are pretty bad. Chill if you raise them right. Mostly didn't like men, I think. Yeah. I'm a big cat guy. I just love cats.
colleges a bunch of cats. I'm so close to taking one home. Are they just like stray cats outside the college? That's how I ended up with my childhood cats. Um, two of our cats were just strays. that like wandered up and just happened to uh, stick around. He's chill. Yeah. That's how, that's how cats get adopted, dude. They just fucking show up. I love my two cats, though. Deku and Cheech were... My aunt, my, my, my aunt had a cat and it had a bunch of kittens and they were two of the kittens from that litter. His food would don't let me pet them. Yeah. Yeah. They, they're litter mates. They were born at the same time. Um, Deku and Cheech names are both anime related. Um, the long story short is I came up with Deku's name because of My Hero Academia and Zelda because I love Zelda. Hey, sissy bakas. Exactly. Um, so since I love Zelda, Deku and, and I love My Hero Academia, it made sense to name... Um, uh, Deku from both of those things. Um, Cheech though, um, was more along the lines of, I was like, okay, well, if I have two cats, then their name should be themed to be like matching. Um, so, um, I was like, since Deku's name is anime to to a certain like degree, I should name Cheech after anime. Um the original like owners, my aunt, told us that one of them was a boy and one of them was a girl. And she did not specify which one was the boy or which one was the girl. And I wasn't going to know until I brought them to the vet. So I came up with a boy name, which was Deku. And then I was trying to think of a female in anime. And I thought of Chi-Chi from Dragon Ball Z because Dragon Ball Z was my favorite anime growing up. And Chi-Chi is Goku's wife. Um... Because she said she said she didn't know. She literally was like, "One's a boy, one's a girl. I'm not sure which one's which." Um. And then, um, brought him to the vet, and this was after I'd already been calling them Deku and Chi Chi. The vet was like, "They are both boys," and so I transitioned into calling Chi 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 because. I felt like if he did know his name, I didn't want to keep calling him Chi Chi necessarily, since that was originally going to be a name for a female cat. Um, and I thought Cheech sounded basically the same as Chi Chi, so it wouldn't confuse him as being his name. Um, so, yeah.
Cats don't have gender norms? No, but humans do. Not that anyone would really assume that Chi-Chi is a female name either, anyway, unless they know that it means boob in Spanish. And they might think I named him Boob because he, it was a girl, <laughs> but... Have you told them your name? Dude, I saw that meme when they were like a year old, and I was like, holy shit, uh, that's crazy. And I was like, hey guys, <laughs> my name is Zach. <laughs> Boy can't name boob is funny, yeah. Um But yeah, that's not It was just because Chi Chi was the first female in anime I could think of. She lifts her head up when my mom says it. That's funny. We need to lie your day. Anakis Closet asked me, When is liar day? Liar day sounds like every day is liar day. If merch guy is around, Seriously, though, I have no idea, but I'm sure it's a day full of chaotic fun. Just make sure to watch your back. Merch guy might be lurking. Merb guy. Merb guy. Merbing guy. Merbing guy. All right, guys, I am going to start wrapping up stream. Did not part merch guy in the fucking jar, bro. Um, I will be back on Wednesday. Um, I am going to, I'm thinking about switching up my stream time. So, you know, I've been experimenting with going live at 6 p.m. and then staying live until 10, but I've been late a lot. Um, and that's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But I am thinking about switching it up um, to... I'm not sure yet. Maybe like 2 p.m. Going live at 2 p.m. Um, one of the reasons I'm thinking about switching it up uh, and I mentioned this when I first started the stream schedule thing, um, is that, uh, you know, it is not super optimal for the EU people to catch the streams at 6 p.m. because it's already midnight at the earliest time in the EU um, when I go live at 6 p.m. my time. So, yeah. Uh, that's kind of the idea. So we're going to play with different stream times. Um, and then things are subject to change again once, when slash if I get job. So... Yeah. We will see what happens, but, um, yeah, work in progress for now, but stay tuned for a notification in like discord because, uh, I might switch up on like Friday, like this Friday I might go live at like 2 PM or something like that. Uh, and then, I don't know, I might stay live longer. I don't know. The thing is, like, I really like streaming, and it, streaming really helps to motivate me um, to stay productive outside of it. And right now, I'm not streaming a whole lot. I'd like to be streaming more. So maybe I'll do, like, 
longer stream, maybe even just once a week. I don't know. We're still playing around with it. Um, but I, for now, I'm just going to keep guaranteeing that I'll be live on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then maybe you'll get bonus streams throughout the week or uh, like extra long stream where I go live earlier or whatever. We will see. Everything's subject to change as we continue to figure things out. But yeah. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it very much. I will see you um, on on the next one, which will be on friggin... Friggin... Um, friggin... Wednesday. <laughs>